working hypothesis is that um, it was a backup, and I'm not going to say where the backup was found, but I think it was a backup, and uh, it wasn't the live data. Uh, I don't think that uh, there is a active uh, vulnerability uh, that would have allowed that scale of uh, data haul. Um, but uh, we're going to find exactly where it was. We're going to find exactly how it was moved. Um, and uh, do I? No, I think that uh, I think that uh, there was a um, non-active host, um, not not our production system. Uh, it had a backup uh, as we were doing remote uh, backup of our data, and I think that was uh, I think that was intercepted. Uh, and we'll figure out exactly how it was done. Um, and uh, cyber forensics people, you know, will. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll navigate that and they will uh, advise us on what we should do um, and law enforcement's involved and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll ah, I'm not a state of denial. Come on, bro. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, there was a, there was a, there was a, uh, a hijack of data that is, should not have been hijacked. Um, I, I, I don't think there's any way to uh, deny that. I think that the data was intercepted um, and the method that was used to be able to intercept that data um, was a method that I think is uh, um, subject to review. Uh, so we haven't made a formal statement along those lines. What we've done is we've announced to our customers, hey, you know, your personal data may be out there uh, and uh, encourage people to, uh, can, can, can anyone hear anything? Yeah, I think my microphone's working. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, uh, I don't. I don't know that it, that it's a breach of our production systems. I think that's the wrong word. Uh, I think that there was a backup that was uh, hijacked, and that it's making the rounds. And there are a bunch of guys who I actually think are cursing themselves uh, by um, trafficking in that data. Uh, I, I, I can unpack that if you want, but it, it's uh, it's it's not a good move. Um, yeah, no, you, you breaches of a backup server still a breach. Yeah, I guess you, you know you can get into like wordsmithing and whatever. Um, you know, it is a um, data privacy problem, uh, and it requires um, uh, our reporters cursing themselves for pointing the breach. You know what? Uh, I think there are reporters that uh, are cursing themselves because they're engaging in propaganda. Uh, I think that uh, journalism used to be. Um, you know, kind of an honorable practice. Uh, it was about basically truth uh, and empowering people to make informed decisions. Um, and I think somewhere in the last 30 years, the economic model changed, um, you know, because there was no longer money to be made selling subscriptions. Um, and as the world became more digital, um, there was uh, more of an emphasis on, uh, you know, online ads. And uh, most of the newspaper industry uh, failed to transition from uh, the current method of um, you know, monetizing through subscription and print ads, which were very lucrative, um, to a model that was viable for paying expensive salaries with um, online ads, and almost nobody wants to pay the paywall. So what do you do? Uh, you basically become like Huffington Post and like Gizmodo and um, you know operations like that, that basically are whores. Uh, they sell their influence, um, you know, to people that want to write big checks um, and, you know, easy money uh, because you don't have to basically collect money from that many people. But the problem is if you're a journalist and you work for one of these organizations, um, you have to kind of sell your soul. So uh, I think that, um, you know, that's probably not great economics, right? You know, so if you like make a buck and curse your soul, uh, I think it's not worth it. So uh, Gateway Pundit. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, they're not a client, I don't think. You can check that. Um, I think uh, Jim Hoft, I, I, I know his work. Um, and, uh, you know, they got booted from Twitter. Uh, and I think that, um, here's the thing, right? I think, I think that um, nations get the leaders they deserve, right? So when you have people who are uh, not great at self-governing, they get dictators, right? I mean, you look back in history uh, to nations that had great leaders uh, that were like empowering and whatnot. 
a lot of them were uh, very much uh, focused on self-governance. And even like Gaddafi, who people say was this terrible despot tyrant, um, you know, he was like pro-free education and, you know, a lot of other free benefits advancing the cause of its people. And, um, you know, somebody decided that it was time to just basically uh, take his stuff. Um, and so they rolled in and took his stuff. Uh, now, why is that relevant to Gateway Pundit? Uh, I think that, uh, you know, Twitter um, has to make a call around who do they give the microphone. And we have to make that same call, too. Uh, we routinely have to, um, you know, kind of deplatform uh, uh, sites that we think are not um, engaging in self-governance. Um, you know, um, HN was with, was, came to our uh, platform uh, without warning. Uh, they showed up on like a Sunday night uh, and by Tuesday morning they were gone. Uh, and I think Gateway Pundit was booted by Twitter. Um, but if you look at their journalism, you know, not all of it is, um, you know, kind of really uh, showing great discernment, right? I think that's one of the great challenges um, that a lot of platforms like Twitter have, which is like, who do you give the microphone? Uh, you all, okay, so uh, in my opinion, there aren't many lies but journalists don't really understand what they're writing about. They don't understand the difference between a web host and a registrar or the distinction between a hack of a live system and a theft of a backup where you can use credentials from the backups to get access to the live system. Yes, that's a problem. So long as you're quick, which is probably what happened to the defacement of the knowledge. Yes, is exactly what happened. Uh, so there was a user, you can look it up. There was a user like alp, A-L-P at epic.com. Um, his credentials were in one of the files. And so the people used that to um, post some stuff uh, on um, the WordPress blog, and we cleaned it up. Um, but that's where they got it. Uh, they also got a, uh, a Coinbase uh, API key, and they tried to move 100 grand out. We shut that down. So sorry, no 100 grand for you. Hopefully, you don't get prosecuted too badly. Um, but it's with the uh, forensic people at um, Coinbase. So hopefully, uh, you know, nobody goes to jail. Uh, nice try though, because you almost got a hundred grand, uh, but, uh, no luck, um, not happening. Uh, so if anybody's boasting about getting a hundred grand, they got nothing. Um, uh, but you might get trouble. Um, so that's all I can tell you about that. Um, if the, if you guys think that there are still like uh, bad, uh, API keys or like things that we missed, uh, with regards to like, uh, you know, credentials that are hanging out there. Um, let us know. Uh, we pay bug bounties, um, and uh, we're pretty reasonable guys. Um, and you have my direct email address, unhashed credit card data. You know what? I am a bit mystified by that um, because we actually store um, just the last four digits. Uh, we don't actually store a full card. Um, and so I don't know what that was unless p possibly there was some caching going on in which case, you know, bad form uh, shouldn't happen. And yeah, I mean, our our team, so we've done like 11 acquisitions in the last three years. Um, and uh, we, we raised a significant amount of money um, not that long ago. Um, and, you know, from a billionaire, um, freedom, freedom minded guy, um, the no board seat, uh, common stock. And uh, so in other words, uh, he just wants to empower people to basically, you know, have the opportunity to search for truth and, and, and to do the right thing. Uh, and uh, I'm the sole board director, uh, founder, CEO. Um, uh, but in the process of doing that acquisition, those acquisitions and raising that capital, what we assembled was uh, really capable people. Um, and, um, you know, some of the different business units that we've acquired um, came with really, really talented uh, technologists. And um, we're, we're, we're working on basically retooling uh, the development organization. In fact, uh, um, because of this incident, uh, we formed a, a technical core team. Uh, I've been kind of the acting CTO. If you look at the org chart, well, you don't, it's not public, but we have like 80 people. Uh, and, uh, you know, not, not all of them are staff. Some of them are like overseas contractors and whatnot. But there's about like 80 staff, you know, in various uh, capacities um, across our various business units. And um, the, uh, 
the so the 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 outcome of what we saw here, you know, where you know really not many people. This will sound strange. Um, so the Russian dev team uh, historically was very guarded uh, about uh, the the code base uh, for the legacy core registrar, and uh, up until like. Uh, like six months ago, right? I mean, we did like, uh, you know, an acquisition of uh, Amplify that I, Amplify.io, uh, so a uh, licensed uh, crypto exchange. Um, and um, we uh, acquired a company called Substratum. And, and both of those acquisitions um, came with uh, engineering. to mute the new person but i muted myself um that's me uh so when when we um <laughs> this will sound funny but when we when, when this breach occurred uh i think for many of our top engineers this was the first time they saw the code um and that sounds really stupid but um you know uh, the history of epic is that we acquired uh, a company called intrust domains back in 2011 let me give you the story so 2009, Epic gets started, right? We're like a domain name asset management company. Uh, we set up these websites. You know, we figure out ways to create, you know, uh, content, put them on exact match domains, um, and uh, and then and then Google indexed them, and they made a lot of money because Google used to weight the domain name very highly in their algorithm. And then, like in 2010, like around October, there was Google Panda, and they kind of took the punch pull away. And uh, our business model was just trash. Uh, and, uh, you know, actually in the fourth quarter of 2010 and in the first quarter of 2011, we actually had negative revenue because we were um, reimbursing um, people who had bought sites from us that were not making money because Google de-indexed all of them. And so I had to make a decision. Um, do I um, fold the tent and uh, shut down Epic or do I... Um, retool and come up with a new business model. And so um, I didn't draw a salary, you know, for a long time. Um, and, um, you know, um, we made a decision um, um, that uh, a client or a supplier that we were working with at the time called Intrust Domains, um, based in Colorado Springs, uh, they were uh, providing a software uh, for drop catching. So when a domain name expires, you know, you drop catch it, right? So. They were, they were providing us with drop catching services, but their customer service was atrocious. And so I flew down uh, to Colorado Springs, uh, talked to Ken Palm, who's the founder and owner. And I said, Ken, you know, you guys are really, really bad at, at customer service. Why don't you sell me your registrar and, uh, and let me run that registrar? And so um, he agreed uh, and he didn't charge me a ton. Uh, and so we bought that company. And it came with a Russian development team. So this was 2011, I think June 2011. And, um, you know, so, um, yeah, Anon, I don't know. Um, I can see it here. Yeah, so we're good. Uh, just maybe refresh or try another browser. So uh, we ended up acquiring this company, and it came with a Russian dev team. Um, and at, at the time, they were based in the Ukraine or in the, in the Crimea region. Uh, then there was war, so then they moved uh, to Krasnodar, and they're based there. Uh, they're 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 pretty talented, uh, but the legacy code base uh, of the early Epic, uh, yes, shitty Russian code. Uh, um, so yeah, we bought some shitty Russian code, and um, we actually um, um, didn't really have an opportunity to evaluate that code uh, until. Um, we finished uh, until we really took uh, control over everything. Uh, and if you look, you go to Epic Labs, epic.com forward slash labs. Um, we have um, a full catalog of a lot of other things that we've been developing. Yo, yo, video, Kurt Tanner, class, bro. God bless you, bro. You are.
you are the man. Oh, man. I was getting tired of talking to myself. Oh, man. God bless you. What's up, bro? Hello. Where are you from? Canada. Canada. All right. I'm in Seattle, Washington. It's around 7 o'clock. Sun's going to set. It's going to get dark behind me, but uh, good to see you. All right. So, yeah. So, like, um, truth, truth, people. Uh, we acquired a company. Um, they they, uh, they uh, were uh, protective of the code. I used to be a developer. My first job um, out of uh, college um, was I was a systems analyst for Procter & Gamble. Um, I used to code in... Uh, um, like Clipper back in the days, like database compilers and stuff, right? Back in the day. Uh, and uh, I, I, you know, I have a pretty good understanding of databases, data structures. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm not the lead coder, don't claim to be one. I, I have a pretty good concept um, on high level architecture. Uh, I'm, I'm um, very conscious of like ecosystems. Uh, people would characterize uh, me as having decent vision. Uh, we have done 11 acquisitions in the last uh, three years. Um, and uh, a lot of times that's, you know, basically a story of trading one dream for another. Um, and so, you know, we've been really fortunate because we've self-funded pretty much all of that. Um, and then um, in uh, June of this year, um, we raised $32 million. Um, and uh, we, uh, um, you know, we, we, uh, ended up basically being able to just dramatically um yeah it feels like a show yeah whatever i'm just keeping it real i'll ask it i'll ask anything i'm here all night uh my wife and daughter uh flew down to austin texas uh to go and uh my daughter is a rower right she's like a serious rower um and she did olympic development program in the summertime so she's like legit good and uh so she got a bid from uh university of texas in austin to go row for them so I skipped that to hang back to deal with this crisis. Uh, so that's why I'm not in Austin tonight. Um, so, all right. So uh, you guys want to talk about uh, Joey Camp. Uh, you guys want to talk about Joey Camp? Let's talk about Joey Camp. So, okay, Joey Camp. Um, Joey Camp social engineered my ISP in April and terminated my fucking service for a week. All right. Well, uh, you know what? Um, you know what? I'll tell you a story about Joey Camp. Um, so Joey Camp um, is... Yeah, can you explain who he is? Um, so Joey Camp uh, is a client. Uh, he runs the site yourdaddyjoey.com, which is a thorn in Chad's side. Uh, Chad, if you're listening, love you, bro. Uh, I, I believe in you. You're a very smart man, very articulate, and very handsome, and I'm not gay. Uh, and if anybody's gay, I don't judge you either. God loves you. Um, but, uh, you know, very articulate, very charismatic Um you know, drops a few too many f bombs, um, but that site, um, your daddy Joey, um, is in the business of basically outing bullies and thugs, uh, people who engage in stuff that he considers to be unlawful. And um, I believe the reason why I believe his why uh, is this, as I understand it. And again, I've never met him, uh, and I don't know him that well. But he once told me that his sister was killed by some Antifa member because she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And ever since then, he's been like a, like a Batman, right? He's like this, like justice warrior dude, um, who operates by his own moral code. And, uh, he gets himself, I think into some trouble. Um, uh, like, um, I, I, he does private investigation kind of stuff. Um, and, um, you know, um, at one point, and this is like, I'm keeping it real, guys. Uh, so at one point, um, I needed help tracking down a guy in uh, in Tampa. Hey! I'm from Tampa. Tampa. All right. I'm welcome from Florida. Tampa. Welcome, welcome to Tampa. All right. So, so, get, so, so Joey, so, I, so Joey, he, he, uh, I asked him, I said, can you track down this guy? His name is Donnie, and he lives in, in, uh, in, in Tampa. And because uh, he, he runs a service that we rely on, and, and he, like, never pays out. And I'm like, this is really weird. Um, and I had heard a rumor that he'd become mixed up in drugs and was in and out of rehab. 
Um, but I was like, I just wanted to know if he was alive. So I, so I said, Joey, could you help me track down this guy? And he's like, I, he's like, uh, he's like, he says, um, I'm in Tampa. I'll get back to you in a few hours. And then like a few hours later, he sends me this note. He's like, yeah. I think it was a note. I don't know what it was. Yeah, no chat from what it was. Telegram. He has a telegram. Uh, and he says, uh, yeah, I found Don. His name is Donnie. Uh, yeah, I found Donnie. And uh, Donnie was at home. And he had, like, jumped the fence of a gated community to, to go get to Donnie and to knock the door. And and uh, and it's like, you know, I would never condone that, right? Because there are laws and there are, like, reasonable boundaries of private property. Um, and so, um, you know, but he operates based on his moral code. And I think that every now and then um, it's possible um, that, uh, you know, uh, that he's a, that he's a bully. Uh, I, I believe that I have seen evidence that there is that he may have the capacity to be a bully. And um, I don't I'm not a fan of that. Uh, you know, I think that uh, I think there's a place uh, for calling out bullies and thugs for being bullies and thugs. Um, Chad, if you're listening, I think you're a bully. I think you're a thug, but I also believe in your highest self. And I think that, um, you know, you're a very gifted man and people should um, give you the opportunity to use your gifts in really mighty ways. And I think that'd be super awesome. And so uh, I prefer that method, right? Uh, Which is, you know, to kind of believe in the highest self of the individual. And I think that, um, the uh, the carnal uh, lower self version of the vigilante, you know, may be prone to like taking an approach of taking justice into their own hands, and I think that's I think that's um, I think that's Joey, right? At, at his lowest self, um, he uses his intellect and his extreme like dot connecting ability. I mean, the dude is like a world-class private investigator. He's a piece of shit. No, okay. But but I would say that his tactics, um, you know, if it involves, like, anything that's not lawful, I have a problem with that, right? So, but we don't, we've never we've never engaged him. Do you think uh, Jesus would be okay with what JoJo Camp's doing, sir? Um, you know what? Uh, um, I, uh, I, I'll I tell you what. Um I Do you see my eyes? Do you see how serious I am? I Do think you think Jojo Camp would be redeemed by Jesus? You know what? I I I I I'm not sure. Uh, I've never talked to him about uh, uh, his faith, um, and I think. Then that, why are you uh, talking to us about our faith? Why are you hosting somebody who sends people to my house based off a of Subasco token? On Lexus Nexus, and why do you think you can profit off that? Well, we you know we don't profit off of that. Uh, you do they, profit off of it. You run it, his servers, and you have, and it, you've known it, and you've admitted to Chad Loader as well as other individuals that you do that. So I think he pays like seven dollar ninety five. I don't month. care what he pays. You profit. Off. You that we don't. You really profit. profit off the suffering of others. That is not uh, Christ like. Well, listen, uh, look. Uh, I think that uh, uh, people who are basically uh, um, wrongly uh, outed and that kind of thing, I think that needs to be, you know, uh, outed like what? Like a Christian? No, 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 no. Like, like, like Chad. Like Chad, you listen to those videos that that are on that page, right? I mean, Chad is talking about some heavy stuff, right? Would you agree? Is that a fair statement? I've seen heavy stuff. What's your definition of heavy stuff? I'm talking about like arranging to give people beatdowns and, you know, um, uh, you know, I mean, you, you watch the video. I mean, the guy is talking about, but, you know. But you host Andy No's site and he posts stuff on like, uh, what's the other site that his guy trolling runs? It's like AntifaMugshots.com. Yeah. I mean, you literally host sites that result in direct action of people like Tony Moon coming to my house. Now, yeah. I can explain that to you offline or online, however you'd no, like. No, and, and uh, if you want to send me send me stuff or let, or do a one-on-one well, one call. More. Look, I mean, the thing is, here's the deal. Um, uh, I, I don't, you know, I run a company with like seven subsidiaries, 24, you know, 
business units. You can look at Epic Labs, epic.com forward slash labs. You'll see we have a lot going on. Um, they were growing really quickly. Uh, and so I, I wouldn't have the ability to keep track of like every page on every customer's website. You we have, have acknowledged. Stop, stop. You know finish. about these pages by replying no. to Chad Loader's no. tweets you brought up, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me finish. Uh, so like um, I, I, I was privy, you know, to the uh, abuse letter that Chad Loader sent. And uh, I looked him up and I watched his video. And I said, you know what? This guy does not seem like a nice person. Uh, All right. I can quite young that. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, to which I, to which I said, uh, you know, um, you know, like that, that page was not indicating a guy that was basically um, operating according to what I would consider to be his highest self. Uh, clearly very smart um, and, and, I don't know, you know, what all he has going on, but you know, I mean, clearly a guy who is capable of. of Let's forget about Chad Letter for a second. Do you know me, sir? Do I you do know me, sir? I have no idea who you are. Tell me who you are. Well, forget Chad Loader and forget the me. other. Forget no. who cares? Who, who cares who I am? Who, who cares who I am? I'm the former editor in chief of Vice. That is your antichrist. That's who I am. <laughs> no, you guys are cruel. <laughs> Vice, Vice is very cruel to us. I fuck Vice. Oh. Fuck, you're right. Gavin McGinnis and Shane Smith, they're both proud boys. Let me tell you that. I'm going to leak audio that shows yeah. that, that Gavin left the company over his knowledge of an assault of an office manager that Shane allegedly committed. And he used that knowledge. And I have audio of Gavin admitting this on Christmas Eve while his kids are opening presents. Sound Christ-like to you? I don't know that he's a Christian. I, I don't, I'm not... I'm not a. I'm not. I don't. We don't. Many host, sites as far as I know, we don't. As far as I, no, as far as I know, we don't host a Proud Boys website. <laughs> you host at least six that have been found today, and their names have been outed. No, no, no. Are they live websites that are actually run by a Proud Boys organization? Historical data of ten years, sir. I mean, look who you have on this call. No, no, no. Listen. I mean, come on. Uh, domain names are one thing, right? You know, and another thing is to actually host a website that is engaging in lawlessness. We. We have an abuse team. They review every abuse case that comes Give in. me the name of your abuse manager right now, please. Abuse at epic.com and uh, the woman's name. Will run yeah, it. really. I've emailed them about 50 times, so that, that's BS. You can, What's you that can name? See, yeah. By the way, you haven't I'll seen your first name. Just tell me your first name so I know when you email Rocco, R-O-C-C-O, C-A-S-T-O-R-O. Oh, that's you know what you? it means? No, that's, that's me. Yeah, oh. welcome. You know what it means? It means beaver fucking nurse. Because castoro is, it's the secretion gland of the beaver. And St. Rocco, when he put his hands on you during the plague, he'd heal you. And that's me. I'm your beaver nurse, sir. Nice. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? That's good. So, like, is that, like, uh, mind-altering kind of stuff? stuff? I, I don't know. You tell me. Did your mind get altered just now, or what? I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm pissed off. Maybe I'm a client. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? It's epic.com. Huh. We will talk soon. Can I please have offline? Can you please follow me? I'm sick of this nonsense. And we're going to get down to brass tacks, sir. Please follow me back on Twitter. Have a good night. You are muted, Rob. I, I hit the mute all because I did it uh, because there was background noise from somebody who came in. So, yeah, beavers will heal you, right? Uh, so, uh, George, lay it on me, bro. Uh, what should I know about the beavers? I got I to gotta learn this one. Beavers will heal you. That's 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 a new one. I did not know this. I learn something every day. And uh, so, uh, beaver nurse, uh, where do we start? All right, all hail the beavers. All right. So, if anybody's got intel on why beavers are good for you, uh, send an email to beavers at epic.com. All right. So, beavers at epic.com. That uh, I, I will I will totally read whatever you send me. Maybe the clitoris. 
happily married. Um, so I only know one of those. Um, all right, guys. Uh, what else we got? Is Chad on the call? I really want to talk to Chad. And Stephen. I want to talk to Stephen. Stephen's got to be on this call. He cannot be missing this. Come on, Stephen. Say hi. Chad, come on, guys. Oh, gosh. That's funny. Oh, man, this is funny. Um, this is the greatest ring call of all time. Um, thank you. Um, I am I'm having some good. Um, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, thank you, JP. Uh, appreciate that. Um, you have some domains on Epic. Uh, so yeah, so like, uh, let's let's talk about like the status of like the cybersecurity, whatever uh, that we're, you know, we've brought in outside people, we have inside people. The big thing is like when we did these other acquisitions, we brought in some really, really tip top engineers. Uh, and uh, those tip top engineers are now in what I refer to as the tech core team. Uh, and uh, they have uh, taken full control over all the code, all the servers, all the the the, uh, the keys, um, and uh, you know they're cleaning house um, and uh, moving as quickly as as possible. You know all the auth codes have been reset. Uh, the auth codes that were out there were not live auth codes; they were auth codes from um, back in February. Uh, and we do rotate the auth codes. Uh, no domains have gone missing. Praise God. Uh, and uh, I don't believe any uh, assets of customers have been lost. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the call uh, that uh, somebody did try to exploit an old Coinbase API key. It kind of worked, uh, but we shut it down in time so that they, they're probably just going to get a bloody nose. Uh, not from me, from Coinbase. Uh, but that was that was clever because uh, I, I, I had no idea that that very old API key was still out there. So, yeah, if you guys see some more, uh, yeah, all the auth codes have been changed. Is there any risk to domains at this point? What security measures would you recommend customers take at this time? So, uh, I would suggest uh, uh, two-factor authentication, uh, and I would say uh, reset to a strong password. Um, there, uh, That would be my advice. Uh, yeah, I would say that would be just about everything. Anybody else got any advice? Um, I'd be happy to listen to anybody else's advice for uh, how to secure uh, accounts. One good news is that the single sign-on, uh, and you guys would have figured it out by now, uh, we have a single sign-on product uh, called Federated Identity, um, and uh, that product is going to be rebranded soon. Uh, it'll be called uh, Valido.com, um, and, uh, and I agree with you. Uh, change your passwords elsewhere if you reuse the passwords. Yes, I think that's wise because um, there are legacy passwords from long from before the federated identity switch which is our single sign-on network that we use across the entire epic federation which is a modern code base uh, it's based on key cloak uh, and uh, uh, yeah recommend password manager preferably one that can generate strong unique passwords I think a lot of people uh, like last password I think one password is another one um, that people like. Um, I'm not really a big fan of storing passwords in the cloud, um, uh, but if you have a trusted cloud, then then go for it. Hey, what's that going is on? not what your data showed. Yeah, no, uh, you missed it, right? I don't know if you've been catching up on any of this stuff, but the story here is that uh, you know legacy code from the Russians that we acquired acquired. Yeah, storage only encrypted passwords in the cloud, so no biggie. Yeah, I agree. You just have to, you just have to remember your private key, uh, one password. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I think that's what we've deployed. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Russian developers that came from the acquisition of Intrust Domains back in June 2011, uh, I think they were like, you know, kind of PHP devs. I don't think they were using modern frameworks. Um, and a lot of that legacy code was still hanging out there. Um, and it is being pretty much retooled, migrated. In fact, the entire uh, platform will be rewritten. Um, you know, there's a lot to that stuff, right? You know, to be a registrar and to cover like 1,200 TLDs, you know, registries, accreditations, that, that takes some serious engineering. Yo, yo! Oh, yeah, she left. Uh, she just changed. She went, she went video. That was cool. Uh, that was super cool. It looked like a Halloween costume. Uh, 
Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, that's that's the story. Uh, and if anybody wants to help uh, uh, with, like, uh, pen testing, um, you know, uh, drop us a note. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely uh, work with pen testers. Uh, and we have to tell you first? No, you, you don't. I mean, you, you, you can you can pen test us. Um, um, I think that's what I think that's what people do. Uh, but uh, so uh, yeah, so, uh, so there's some questions here about uh, uh, I would migrate men into a host that isn't run by a Christian libertar libertarian. Um, yeah, so tough tough one, right? So uh, I guess I guess what I mean by that is uh, that. Uh, I think we're all on the journey. I think the truth sets you free. I think people should be allowed to be self-governing, uh, small government, um, and uh, people who are not self-governing, you know, will ultimately be ruled over by dictators, uh, and that's not a great outcome. So, you know, better to create an environment where people are having the opportunity to be uh, self-governing. Uh, that's kind of what I mean by being a libertarian who happens to be a Christian. Hope that helps. Um, upset security incident that picked up my anger isn't towards Rob. Yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate that, JP. Uh, yeah, we, we, you know, we, we, uh, we did not uh, nail that one. Uh, I think quite candidly um, that that was some serious uh, uh, weak code, um, you know, like uh, hard coding API keys, uh, uh, just weak sauce. Um, and, you know, in reality, like I said at the, earlier in the call, uh, our top engineers mostly hadn't seen that code uh, because it was, you know, kind of black box behind a firewall, separate Git, Git repository, uh, and uh, not part of the uh, Epic Git. And that might sound surprising. Uh, sorry, I have a cold. Uh, uh, considering that we're like a registrar, but that's basically because of the history of how that company uh, became uh, part of Epic. It was an acquisition. Uh, it is a captive dev team. And um, I, I've operated with that group, you know, to a large extent on the basis of trust. Um, they're good people. They're honorable people, um, they're, you know, ethical, responsible people. But uh, their coding methods and frameworks uh, are not up to standard. Um, and they've pretty much handed over all the keys uh, to two top guys. Uh, and uh, Justin Tab, David Roman, um, and they're... They're doing a great job, uh, you know, diving into the code. And, and, and you know, there were some very unpleasant um, discussions, uh, you know, I mean, very heated conversations uh, because uh, some of the team hadn't seen the code uh, until uh, <laughs> until it was exposed. So that might sound a little bit crazy, but, you know, you have to keep in mind that we've grown really quickly uh, uh, around a core registrar. And uh, if you want to know the history, um, I'll tell you a story. Uh, you guys might have digression. I'll tell you a story. Uh, so, uh, you know, up until July 2018, yo, yo, welcome. I'm Rob. Nice to meet you. Um, so, uh, he's, uh, okay. Anyway, so, uh, July 2018, right. Uh, I've, I've been running for the last three years, um, as a consultant, uh, kind of interim exec, uh, a company called Digital Town. You can look it up. It was on the pink sheets. It's still uh, existing, but it's pretty much defunct. Um, I did a, uh, I did a, uh, I did a TED talk. It's actually a banned TED talk, uh, uh, and it was uh, about uh, Digital Town. But uh, and I can share it. I have a copy. Um, so um, July 2018, um, I'm kind of in this boardroom struggle um, with the group uh, that was running the company at the time. And uh, I, I were, were, you know, it was actually, um, we go on vacation, um, cruising in the Mediterranean, um, like around August 17, um, middle of the Mediterranean, underneath the Perseid meteor shower. And I'm looking up at the sky, um, beautiful clear night, like endless stars. And I have absolute clarity that the Lord's going to need a registrar. Um, and uh, it's uh, the closest thing to a calling I've ever experienced. Uh, yeah, hang in with me. Uh, not the obituary. Uh, and, uh, and so, um, I dropped everything, uh, and focused exclusively on Epic. And then in the next three years, you know, we've done all these acquisitions, but what was the triggering event? Um, so from August, 2011, no, so August, 2018 
until October 2018. I'm like, like, what's going on? Like, why am I doing this? Um, um, you know, don't feel like I have you know exact clarity on what it means to be focused on running Epic. And uh, and then this Gab thing happens, and and uh, Gab was like abruptly deplatformed by GoDaddy, and it's like a three hundred thousand dollar domain. And I'm thinking to myself, this is crazy. Um, and um, it makes no sense to me that you would be removing like a three hundred thousand dollar domain and then like throwing it in the trash can, uh, impairing it permanently so that nobody will buy it. And so I uh, I did a call with Andrew Torba. I'm like, hey Andrew, uh, what's going on? And uh, we had a good call. Um, I got a sense that this was not an angry man. Um, not speaking of angry moments, uh, but but I'm saying that he's not an angry man. And uh, and I agreed. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Cool. Uh, nice job. Uh, so I uh, agreed to kind of take him on. And of course, the moment I did that, like uh, this was right after like the Tree of Life thing that happened in Pittsburgh, um, we got lit up. It was like October 28, 2018. It's right before the election. Uh, and so we got lit up. Uh, the media just went to town. And uh, all kinds of stuff unfolded. And then, uh, then you know, we just had a series of opportunities. Uh, stuff came to us. We acquired a company called BitMitigate, uh, run by a dude named Nick Lim. Uh, some of you guys probably came across his work. Um, mercurial dude. Um, he doesn't work for us. Uh, but he had clients like Daily Stormer. Uh, and, um, and we ultimately parted ways, uh, with Daily Stormer. Um, and in part, I never spoke with, uh, the head of Daily Stormer. Uh, Do you still provide know. directing services to the Daily Stormer? Like, are you no. forwarding? No. You, no, no. You, you said that to me on the phone though, that you are still providing. Hi, Steve. Yeah. Steve. Hey, what's up, Rob? Hey, How what's going on, bro? How are you? So, so, sorry for your pain. Uh, uh, I, oh, well, I, if you were sorry, you would comment on if you condone uh, Joey Camp's actions. In well, let's, 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 let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. Nah, nah. No, you said you would answer anything. This is on topic. Uh, okay, I'm going to mute you first. So I get to finish my story, and then I get to come It's absolutely on topic. No, no, no. Let me, finish this, let me finish this story. Uh, uh, okay. Then I'm going to come to Steve's question. All right, fair? All right. So... Uh, I'm the moderator, but I promise I will listen to everybody. I will not leave to all your questions are answered. We can go all night. It's okay. Uh, so um, my wife and daughter are in, in Austin. So I, 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 ha I have the house to myself and the, the dog has to pee. He's got a diaper on. Uh, so, um, uh, so yeah, like, so October 2018, we get lit up because of this gab thing. And so because of that, we basically had to become vertically integrated in everything. So we're like a registrar. Uh, a host. We, we acquired a, you know, multiple data centers, uh, content delivery network, uh, denial of service mitigation. We're an intermediate root certificate authority. That's DN Encrypt. Um, we run uh, our own um, uh, ASN IP ranges, um, BGP instances. Uh, we, we, we normally run our own VPN. We took anonymized to calm down uh, for maintenance because uh, we wanted to make sure that the keys were all uh, tidy. So nobody was using corrupted keys. Um, that that you know, but but we you know we basically have assembled kind of end to end um, you know theoretical digital resiliency, right? When you basically figure out a way to hijack a backup of Epic at some other host that's not controlled by us, then of course it looks like we're like totally clowns and we don't know what we're doing. Um, and there are aspects that would suggest that we don't know what we're doing, but there are aspects that show that we do know what we're doing. And we're closing the gap. So that's the background about how Gab became a client, and then um, Epic. Uh, yeah, we help. We have we help Gab a little bit uh, uh, with with stuff. Um, and Parler, we don't host Parler. Uh, we're a registrar uh, for. Uh, so that's uh, my, is my microphone uh, fixed. That, okay, there it is. Everybody, uh, Hi, everybody. Sound busted? What the hell's going on here? Rob accidentally muted himself again. All right. I 
try to mute other people so that we wouldn't have to listen to Cortana talking to himself. Uh, Steve, you, you go. Yeah, so, you know, this is something that um, I asked you on the phone about and you didn't want to comment on. I've emailed your lawyer per your request uh, two days ago. Hasn't gotten back to me. Uh, it's been more than 48 hours at this point. And I'm wondering um, if you're, one, aware of what Joey Camp is using your web services to do, and two, if you can donate. And I'm happy to explain to you exactly what he is doing if you uh, are unaware. Uh, yeah, actually, lay it on me. I'll listen to you. By, 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 by the way, by the way, when I told you about your story being a nothing burger, I wasn't talking about uh, anything related to this data thing. So I you were talking should... about the overoptic yeah. systems connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HQ yeah. hosts, yeah. all those I things. Talk, right? I was talking about like you were you were like all about like us working with the Russians. And I was no, like, no, I didn't, I didn't say but, anything about that. I said you have shell companies that are based in the UK, but let's get back to the point. Right, no, no, but, but I just so want to clarify. I just want to clarify. Let me finish. I, uh, I will listen to you. I promise. I will listen to you. Uh, I, I will. Just, just take this. So, uh, so the Russian thing, the reason why I called it a nothing burger was you called me. We talked for 15 minutes um, off the record. And I was trying to explain that this whole thing about Russia was irrelevant. Uh, because so I actually whole, never said anything about Russia. I was talking about the United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. But you were talking about like in the context of pro-life. I'm talking about work. connections to shell companies with the directors in Switzerland and Crimea. Okay, I know. Uh, 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 let's take turns. I, I will totally talk to you. So um, you're not even addressing my point, though. I want to talk about Joey Camp. How much cocaine did you do today? Well, come on, let's just chill. Like, no, no, no. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Just. just just, just relax, right? We will take turns. No, I got I all never, my no, no, no. Your customer has sent me my social security number. That's not good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I agree. That's not good. So uh, I, will, I will have a conversation. Uh, I don't know what be tonight, but I'll have a conversation with Joey. Yeah. 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 My deal with Joey is... Uh, Ask him about uh, me sometime. Yeah, 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 guys. You've got you guys are if you guys have profiles that are that are that are not accurately representing your truth. Damonhackers.com. Uh, I'm right there, front and center. I I I, I, I had no idea. Uh, thanks for the background, Demon Hackers. That's you. <laughs> that is him. Wow, that is nuts. So um so yeah, to be clear, Joey Camp is engaged in a harassment campaign against myself. A few other journalists, um, and what he does is he uh, posts public information that he should not have access to, uh, right. and then he sends people to message you. Uh, he has people who have sent me my social security number, my driver's license number, uh, my address. He's posted my family's address. He's told me uh, that he, you know, will he keeps posting about how he's going to basically ruin me and this, that, the other, and he's trying to threaten and extort people. He has a pattern of doing this. There are tons he has of no people. Money. He has no money. So it doesn't he, matter if he has money. It doesn't money matter if he has money. It doesn't matter if he has money. It matters that you are providing web services to him that allow yeah. him to do this. Fair. All right. So like let's 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 be fair. Uh, so uh, when it comes to pro life whistleblower, uh, we had them take it down. Not, um, yes, you did. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Why do you guys yell when you speak? Calm down. I agree. If I, am I too loud? Because you're, you're skipping around. You, you need to talk about what I'm asking about. No, no. Otherwise, I'm going to get Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, we deplatformed pro life whistleblower because they were engaging in doxing. And we thought that that was not a useful practice. We thought what do you think Joey Camp is doing? Take turns. Uh, pro life whistleblower as an idea was ill conceived. I is Joey to- Camp doxing? Turns. Is Joey Camp uh, doxing? Is turns. Joey Camp doxing? All right, I'm gonna mute you. You're not behaving. Come on, otherwise I'm gonna kick you out. Come on. All right. Uh, so, uh, so I called Jim Graham, executive director, son of the founder of a 46-year-old organization, and uh, I said to Jim, I said, Jim, uh, what part he claims to be a Christian? I think he is. Uh, 
uh, and what part of what you're doing, uh, for, like outing people for participating in, in uh, abortion procedures, uh, is Christ-like. Uh, you know, God doesn't like tattlers. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, I advised him to take the site down and redirect it to his Texas Right for Life site. And um, true story, the reason why they couldn't do it that night was because Texas Right for Life was actually hosted in one of the staff's homes. Uh, it was not actually at a data center, and they would have been blown up with bandwidth. And so they engaged uh, Right Forge uh, to, who I don't, didn't know until the next day when they called me, uh, to set to move their host uh, to Right Forge. And uh, that's who they're with now. Uh, and we also uh, told them to move their domain. Um, so pro-life whistleblower came to us unannounced and we sent it away. It's doxing and it's not cool. Now, Steve, uh, you have a uh, simple an question. Is, is Joey Camp doxing? You know what? Uh, I think that um, the uh, content that is on that site, um, uh, I, I haven't uh, studied it very closely. You shared a link to it a few days ago to Chad Loader. Yeah, no, I got it. Uh, and I'm, I'm uh, asking, what is your definition of doxing? Yeah, I, I, I leave that to the attorneys. Uh, but I, I think that uh, the site. <laughs> uh, no, seriously. Um, you know, if I felt if I felt that you were an honorable guy, Steve, right? I mean, I, I think that uh, the site would come down. I think free speech exists. And you know, wait, 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 wait. I just want to. Do you think that if I were deemed honorable by who, that the site would come down? No, the page. Um, yeah, the uh, page. By whom? Who would have to? <laughs> All right, demon. Uh, uh, hang out. That's funny. I got to. I mean, I guess you, you, you talk a lot about libertarian values, uh, Rob, and and you you just said a word here that is definitely confusing. And I see Steve's point. You know, the idea that if he was honorable, you know, that leaves the question open of who indeed is the arbiter of is Steve honorable. Well, come on. So Steve called me uh, out of the blue, and my cell phone is pretty easy to find. My no, you had know, emailed you, and you responded to the abuse line right. that I had emailed, right. and I mean, then I, I, I called you. That's and fine. Then I called you. I, I, don't hide, I, 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 don't, I don't hide myself, right? I'm, I'm pretty easy to find, right, guys? I'm easy to I find. Know. I know that. So I'm wondering if you can just, like, really help me understand what do you mean when you say doxing? Yeah, no, I, and I, you know, Steve, uh, I think that, I think that uh, there are a bunch of pages that should come down uh, uh, because, uh, you know, exposing uh, home addresses, if that's happening, um, you know, crosses it is, a lot. It's happening to me and my family right now I on your client's website. Right, right. And I told you I'm going to talk to Joey. If not tonight, it'll be tomorrow. Um, and I there's mean, some I'm sure I can give you his phone number. He's texting me nonstop. I'm sure he'll pick up tonight. Oh, if you want to I, I'll, I'll get him. I'll get him. I don't know how long you can do it now in front of all of us. It would be awesome. I, I, I understand. Um, um, but but see, I have a request, right? I have a request, and um, you know, I it's not an ultimatum, or is this a, no, 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 no? It's not. It's a request. It's not an ultimatum. I'm not. I'm not into ultimatums. Uh, I have a request. Um, so yeah. Uh, every minute you leave it up uh, more harmful. Yeah, so I think it should come down. I think that the page should come down. But I, but I have a request, right? Uh, uh, and that is, you know, uh, when you called me with your, uh, you know, Russian stuff and whatever, uh, there was an effort to, um, you know, uh, vilify uh, and, and condemn Epic. And uh, I, I don't think that that was an accurate, fair representation of uh of epic I ask you for clarification and you can provide me with the exact understanding of why all of these things are pointing to over optic systems natco web like natco web corp and uh tin tin hat I, I i don't understand these connections and that's why i called you but since you are unwilling to provide me any clarity regarding yeah. those connections i reported on what is publicly available information yeah, I mean, the problem is that uh, so much of the content that is out there, uh, like, you know, Huffington Post and, you know, like, the whole list, like, you go look at the Wikipedia page. I mean, do you guys get how subverted Wikipedia is? Do you realize how much of a globalist tool that thing has become? Do you get that? Is that, is that like, lost on people? So, I'm not talking about Wikipedia. I'm talking about 
the web domain registration that I was able to Steve, link Steve, and I explained Steve. to you over the phone. I'm going to get that page taken down. All right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to get that page taken down. As soon as possible, within a reasonable amount of time, because I have emailed. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. I understand. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to get that page taken down for you. And uh, all I ask in return, right? Uh, and it's an ask. It's not an expectation. It's not conditional. It's an ask, right? There are some aspects of the left media uh, that has been uh, very unfair uh, to Epic and to me personally. Uh, I, I don't think anybody in good conscience uh, or um, kind of good faith could, could, could conclude that what is being distilled on the likes of Wikipedia and by the likes of Huffington Post and many other uh, vice media, you know, you or the know, Southern Poverty Law Center, Southern Poverty Law Center, um, not quite the bane of my existence, but it's like right up there. Michael Edison Hayden, Hate Watch. I mean, um, yeah, these dudes, I think, are uh, not uh, being truthful. I think that they are engaging in a willful form of deception. Um, and I will happily. I've actually taken his phone call in good faith. I've listened. I've, I've spoken with him. But after you're like betrayed multiple times where, you know, you talk to people in good faith and you answer their questions. Your conversation with me was not in good faith, Rob. You did no, not no, want no. to say anything on the record. No. Well, because I because I, I have I have an understanding from my lawyers, you know, to 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 not be talking to journalists and really what uh, right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going off script, right? I mean, so it's, it's you know, I'm slightly maverick, okay? Uh, uh, and uh, so I, 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 but I just decided, you know, here it is, you know, uh, you know, Yom Kippur, you know, Day of Atonement, uh, you know, sunset in, in Hawaii is very soon, um, and uh, and I just think it's important to clear the air, uh, and uh, you know, uh, I don't, I'm not a fan of uh, seeing people cursed. Uh, bearing sins that they don't need to bear. And I just think, thank you, WT. Love you, Ben. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, I just want to uh, clear the air. Um, and I and I want to make peace, right? I want to make peace. So, uh, you know, if there are sites or pages that need to come down because they're engaging in gross malfeasance, then let's have unity and truth, Right. Let's stop with the lies. Let's stop with the propaganda. You know, let's let's try to appeal to each other's highest self, and uh, you know, create an outcome that co-creates abundance. I think what? it's a great idea. And no. if you have any, you first. It's a great yeah, idea, no, Rob. Okay, and if you have any corrections or any, if you would like to better explain fo to folks the connections to the shell companies I identified in the UK servers, I am a journalist and I issue corrections when I'm wrong, but I have to be shown that I'm wrong. And that's, that is why I called you because I was right. hoping to get some clarity, which your conversation with me did not provide. All right. So st st stand by, stand by just, just as a gesture of good faith. Uh, let's, let's, let's disable the DNS of you, the A record of your daddy, Joey. Um, shall we? I would love to do this live. All right, let's do this live. Sorry, Joey. Uh, it's going, we're going to, we're going to do this. Um, yeah, would be that. .com would be a great thing to go away. Just saying. Um, yeah, one second here. All right, that's, I don't want to break his. Uh, I don't want to break his uh, email. All right, so let's just uh, let's see what we got here. Host records. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna just take the site down. Um, and he told me. Uh, he told me that if I go, if he goes too far. That uh, that I can take him down. So I'm gonna take him down. Uh, um, all right. So a record is offline. You guys just uh, I don't know. It's, it's actually sorry, not yet. <laughs> this domain is actually under MaxLock. We actually have a service called MaxLock that uh, 
uh, makes it very, there's a couple of compromise. You couldn't actually take him down, but uh, I could take him down. So, all right. So your daddy, Joey, good faith gesture, guys. Here we go. Uh, I actually right. really appreciate this. Oh, no, guys. I mean, the thing I is. I sincerely appreciate this, Rob. I, I really do. And I will be sharing this immediately because this is something that, uh, it means a lot to my family who have been I getting have harassing been. phone calls from Joey. Likewise. Well, and I think I think that uh, you know needs to be uh, you know kind of a uh, um, you know kind of a boundaries thing with with Joey, right? Uh, uh, Joey needs to also you know step up and 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 man up uh, uh, in in being accountable, right? There, there he has long demonstrated as... no interest in being held responsible for his actions and right. no regard for consequence whatsoever. Yeah, swastika. What the heck? That's quite a tat. Is that a breast? That's a male breast. Look at that. Yeah, How about leave. That? Yeah, that guy. Who is it? Oh, he's a convicted cyber criminal. That was the web host of the Daily Stormer. Oh, so so you guys know who he is? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's got an attitude problem. Uh, <laughs> Huh? Well, I, I also wanted to just say how much I, uh, just as someone who's been following the story and not necessarily someone who's involved in it, I just, I just, I, I very hey. much, uh, I'm very impressed by the, the, um, willingness to, you know, to go beyond your lawyer's advice and things and come transparently and, and talk to people in an open way about, about everything and to, to make such a, uh, and, you know, a, a, a gesture like that in front of everyone to say, like, look, as a gesture of good faith, this is what I'll do. Because I think that's so much of what we lack today in our society and in, especially in, like, the public eye is, is an accountability and transparency of our actions and our ability to just be reasonable people about things that have gone wrong and things that yeah. are going wrong. And also, yeah, it's uh, great to, to see it happen, you know somewhat within a reasonable time frame because Joey's stuff has been on there for years at this point. And there's been a lot of people who've tried to get something to happen and get that stuff removed. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm glad it's happened within a few days at this point because yeah, 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 yeah it's, 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 it's helpful and we appreciate it. And I, I look forward to seeing it propagate on my browser. Yeah, no, the TTL is 30, 300 seconds. So it should already be done. Um, uh, so, um, I'm yeah, not seeing that. <laughs> No, no, it's 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 uh, the TTL is three hundred, so you you should it should already be down. But anyway, the rest of the world can't see it. Uh, and yeah, I can uh, see it. Uh, I'm, a, I'm refreshing it. Yeah, yeah. Just change your DNS. Change your DNS provider. If you were using eight 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 eight, use one 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 or something, and then just try it does to look down. It's down. Oh, awesome! I do this. I do this for a living. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, DNS. So weave, weave. Uh, let let's talk for a second. So what's going on? Why, why why what why the angry why the angry man uh, thing? What's what's that about? I don't know, man. I can ask you that. I'm not I'm really not so angry, Rob. Are, are you going to shoot up something? Are you in I'm danger not, of to other I'm, people? You know, you seem mad a lot. I just, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, no, you're, you're too extreme bad. for me, man. You're you're too you're too hardcore. Oh well. Um, much love to you, actually. I, I, you and I have not met before. I've heard of your name, Weave, before. Uh, I had no idea that you had an enormous uh, uh, swastika tat on your chest, but evidently other people knew that. So you oh, know. hell, Eric. What? Anyway, so Weave, seriously, like, what's, what's the deal? Like, what's, what's your why? What's going on? I, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm, I'm motivated for genocide. I'm gonna I'm gonna see all the Jews dead. Is that like is the, come on, is that like like rhetoric or is that like legit what motivates you? You like get It out doesn't of fucking people. matter, Rob. And yeah, I just wanna a real quick I wanna check. Hey Rob, can you can make can you make sure to commit that if Joey brings up his site under any of the other domain names that he's registered with you, that you'll do some the I same thing you, about it? I told you I'm going to have a substantial one on one conversation with him where we set boundaries and conditions about what, what the conditions are for him bringing the site back online. All right? Um, uh, so, so weave, uh, let, let's, did you leave? Did weave leave? 
No, he's right there. No, he was right there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Uh, good. All right, good. So, Weave, seriously, bro, uh, what's your why? Like, what what gets you up in the morning? For real. Well, <laughs> I, I would like to see. I would like to see the restoration of uh, coverture. Uh, that's a that's a really important thing that I lobby for. Uh, traditional norms, 19th century and prior norms. I, I'm a big fan of coverture and powder what's, familias. What, what, um, the for blanks what's, and this this what's, gold's bridle, what's the cucking stool, the stool of repentance. Um, I want I want to see a return to these kind of traditions, and uh, and also I would like to uh, restore traditional attitudes towards Jewry. Uh, I think that they should be expelled, all of them. You know, we've 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 spent a lot of blood and treasure making a state in the Middle East for them. I think that we should all just like make them go there. You know, I think they they all just have to go. You know, to their yeah. to their country. Right now. The so we've we've just just confirming. How would you describe these beliefs? Is there a is there a, a an ideological term to describe the beliefs that you're you're espousing? Yes, absolutely. It's called, it's traditionalism. It's what any any of my great grandfathers oh, no, would believe, you're, you're, and any of your great grandfathers, in fact, if if you were a Christian and not a Jew, any of your great grandfathers would have agreed with these beliefs 100 percent of them so I, I just great believe grandfathers what, do you asshole uh come on like, right. i just believe what nearly anybody's great grandfather believes no 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 believe in, okay. and, and, and I'm, I'm sorry if i really made the main i apologize steve i owe you an apology for that uh go ahead so we've you, I think it's been, oh, you're sure. thousands of years are in, a, are in a very temporary experiment, let me tell you, that's about to end. The, the, the Western neoliberal order is about to collapse on itself, and, uh, and I, you I know, agree with that. my guys will be making the new part, order. Here's the part that I agree with, Weave. Uh, I agree. Right, I'm getting the fuck out of here because this is now just a fucking Nazi conversation. Have fun, y'all. All right, Steve. I, 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 don't, I don't support Nazism. I'm, I'm not a fan of... Uh, of, of Nazi ideology. I think it's kind of wishy-washy, and I, I'm not a fascist in general. Actually, I don't. I don't like fascism as a system. I don't think it. it that's too ironic. Um, that's no, funny. it's it's not Nazi that's orientation. Actually, you can kind of see it's it's actually flat. It's not like built in, and it's filled with it's filled with ancient gods. Just, like the camera quality isn't too too high on this camera and and, and whatnot, but it's. It's filled with 19th century so woodcuts. So have uh, really bad internet there gods. in Tira Small. All right, so, but, huh? so so this is this tattoo thing like a big part of your identity, or do you like regret ever putting oh, it on It's your part of my religion. What's your religion? It's a religious tattoo. It's not what an is, ideological what is, what is, tattoo. It's what do you call that? What's it called? Uh, what? I'm I'm uh, I'm like a votanist. Votan is my patron. Votanist. All right. Well. Um, you know, tell you what, we what can you tell us your real name, or do you just go by Weave? Andrew, Andrew Arnheimer. Oh, okay, God, I, I, I've I've heard of you, and but I, I've heard of Weave, uh, uh, and some people think you're a scary guy, um, but um, uh, you know, I would just say, um, you know, like just figure out a way to get along, right? There's just no real reason to kind of like, you know, engage in this identity politics. Are you, but are you like, like personally all about this or are you like just feeding the polarity because somebody pays you to, like legit? Oh, no, I'm, I'm pretty honest. I think that rest, restoring America's foundations is a very important thing. And uh, I believe in, in restoring the legal norms that were, were in existence, not, not just in America up until the late 19th century, but for thousands of years prior for, for white European civilization. I don't think that's a, right. that's not identity politics. That's, that's the very foundation of my country and every country before. All right. That's not, All right. that's not some kind of new, new fangled identity politics. Right. It has nothing to do with identity politics. Uh, right. It's about building a stable civilization. All right. But, but would you acknowledge that the founding fathers were actually Christians? Oh yeah, oh, certainly, absolutely, right. absolutely. They, they didn't identify um, I think, as Christian guys, and they didn't have some. Uh, uh, most slave owners were Christians. Yeah, you know. Uh, well, slavery is a good institution. I think we should bring it back. Actually, that's one of the institutions that we should bring back. Is, is slavery? You can be my slave. You want to be my slave? You can be. That, that's cute. I agree. Uh, you know, I think you should probably try to walk in somebody else's shoes and and be her slave for a while uh, and see how it feels. Uh, but uh, seriously, though, uh, I don't think that the um, the founding fathers had a mindset 
with regards to um, um, being um, uh, intolerant. Uh, I don't think that they were as intolerant. The, the norms that I have listed, coverture is a law that was passed in America. You say coverture and, and existed like not, not talking around the fact it existed for what, what centuries. My primary, what my coverture? primary legal norm that I listed, coverture, existed for centuries in America up until what the late 19th it? century. So to what say that the founding fathers didn't share my viewpoint, all of them did. Literally all of them did. Like every like single can, man like up until the mid 19th century, when they were brainwashed by Jewish propaganda that was like, oh, oh, oh this poor, these Jane Austen novels, don't they make you cry? Like, they they all had, had the exact same ideas about social and legal norms surrounding oh, the family. What I'm describing is not a fringe ideology. It is. There's many, many different kinds of families. I, I yes, it is. You have no idea what you're talking about. Look, look, uh, can you put your video on? We didn't see who was talking. I, mu I muted you. Uh, we've. I sorry. You were you were rambling on, and I figured it was two guys talking at the same time. So uh, there's a woman trying to speak. I think she has something intelligent to say. Go ahead. She left. Yeah, you just have like no original ideas, and you really haven't made any successes at all, and you're really delusional, basically. That's about I it. I am. I am. No, we've. I mean, you oh, too. But oh no, 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 no. I, I. So we've. Yeah. We. We yeah, no, are super delusional. Like. No, are you I kidding me? I, I, I agree. I, we've. I, yes. I got to tell you, bro. I got to tell you. Sure I, I, I don't think that you're very enlightened. Uh, uh, so. We're all on, we're all on a journey. We're all on a journey, but I I'm just not feeling like you're really an enlightened dude. I will pray for you today. Uh, people from uh, uh, Daily Stormer founder 420. Oh, uh, I can't tell if he's trying to speak to us or if he's talking to himself. One second. All right, I just muted him because he looks like he was talking to somebody else. Uh, all right, so. Uh, the, the woman who was speaking, she was calling out we for not having original ideas. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think that this is uh, sketchy. We've uh, not a fan, bro, but uh, I believe in your highest self, and I really hope that you will try to make peace with people and uh, not uh, kind of. You said at the very beginning about wanting genocide and whatever. Uh, that's just he not going to work out for you. But it's not. You're not not being nice. Uh, it, it, I think he's being edge lord. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, you know. By the way. I got to tell you this. This is a true story. Um, Chris Cantwell, uh, the guy they call the crying Nazi. Um, I talked to him one-on-one, -on -one and uh, he was actually a nice guy in one-on-one. -on -one. His whole thing of, like, kill this, hate this, whatever, it's an act. It's a stick. Uh, and uh, he is fully capable of being a nice guy. Um, as for Weave, I'm trying to figure out if he's, like, legit a hater or if it's just, like, a way to make a buck. Um, it's not clear to me. Um, hey, Rob, so I, I know I said I was going to leave because this was a Nazi conversation, but um, I just wanted to inform you of another domain that you may want to take a look at. It's called AntifaWatch.com. Yeah. It also belongs it, to Joe. What's it called? AntifaWatch.com. He also doxes people on that website. All right, we'll take care of that one, too. How about that? Oh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, and take care of this one. Uh, and then I'm going to have I'm gonna have a conversation, right? I'm, I'm making a leap of faith here. Um uh, that I can basically, uh, I don't see it. AntifaWatch.com is not on epic to me. I don't, I don't see it. Okay, that's good to know. You know, I guess um, it's somewhere I, else. I don't, think it's not, I don't think it's at epic. Uh, maybe somewhere else, but uh, it's not at epic. His email's still working, though, so you can still uh, probably email him or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but we will, we will, we, will, we you know, uh, Joey and I will have a conversation. I promise you that. Um, and, you know, the thing is, um, Children have many fathers. Uh, I'm not sure what his relationship is with, is with his dad. Um, uh, and uh, I feel like I could probably help him out uh, to, to you know, kind of like be a... Uh, uh, actually, a I'm, looking at the, I'm looking at the ICANN. You might want to look up the ICANN registration because it says the privacy administrator is Anonymize Inc. Uh, yeah, but look at the registrar. Just look at the registrar. I don't think we're the... Well, yeah, but you guys are providing web services to him. Uh, I, uh, possibly. We're not the yeah, you anonymize is your subsidiary. That's the, who is privacy, that's the who is privacy proxy. Uh, let me, let me, uh, 
I, I'll, I will check that. I will check to see if uh, in FIFA Watch.com there's any hosting from Epic. But we're not the registrar, so I don't have an easy way to just turn it off. Okay, cool. uh, as long as you're, per, you know, the privacy administration is also a problem. Well, obviously, there's not a lot of privacy if a snapshot from a February backup is like out on the web, you know. Right, uh, and there's not a lot of privacy when we're talking about doxing sites either, so. All right. So, look, guys, here's the thing. Uh, uh, I believe that that data set that's floating out there is cursed. Uh, I, I, it's stolen data. I strongly advise getting it's cursed. Out. Yeah, it's cursed. Um, and I believe that it's cursed. Uh, I, I don't think it ends well. You know, it's funny because uh, why did I do this, right? Why did I say, okay, let's have it out? Uh, you know, uh, every year on the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, you're supposed to clear your debts. You know, I went, made sure, checked all my invoices, whatever, made sure that everybody was paid. Uh, and uh, I think I succeeded. Um, and uh, and then also that you settled your arguments with various people. And uh, so anyway, I, I, I don't want to have any, you know, kind of differences with a bunch of folks. Uh, you know, uh, Bible says when a man's ways please the Lord, even his enemies are at peace with him. Uh, if somebody has a beef with me, uh, then uh, I'm, I'm happy to have it out try and figure out what the deal is and the Bible's not a psyop uh, that's that's bad info sorry it, Bible stands for best in, best instruction before leaving earth uh, I think that's pretty good all right you can't get into this religious stuff you can ignore it uh, so uh, yeah if anybody else has uh, like problem sites that are like really engaging in like bad bad stuff that you could never defend in the light uh, uh, yeah. com. all right let's talk about gab uh, so, um, Gap, so Andrew Torba is much more of a free speech absolutist than I am. Um, I am not a free speech absolutist. Uh, the free speech absolutist people, um, sometimes get mad at me, uh, because I actually have a condition, uh, which is, uh, that it needs to edify. Uh, and the question is, does the content in the aggregate edify? Uh, and I think the answer is yes. Uh. And the reason why I say that is because uh, the Gab people have been pretty much booted off of like Twitter and whatnot. And, uh, you know, to the extent that Gab basically governs itself uh, and doesn't allow unlawful content um, and doesn't allow genocidal people, you know, we, for example, almost surely not on Gab. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he would be removed just like Chris Cantwell um, with his edge lord stuff. It's just not, it's just not fun. Um, it's, it's really gets tiresome. So, yeah, you know, if there is, uh, somebody says Gab's a psyop, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, is it, is it theoretically possible, uh, that, uh, uh, that, uh, Torb is an operator? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell. Um, people say that about Alex Jones, uh, also a client. Uh, I don't know. I never met him, never talked to him. Um, we hired one of his guys, um, uh, Michael Zimmerman, director of IT from Infowars, uh, but um, uh, tough to say. You know, I, I do believe this. I'll tell you what. I believe that there's a polarity. This whole right, left, fat, skinny, rich, poor, uh, gay, straight, uh, it is a giant polarity. Uh, for the last two, three decades, it's been divided rule, created dynamic, where you just get people to rub up against each other and just kill the crap out of each other and uh, exhaust each other. Uh, and the, the right fears the left, the left fears the right, and it's super stupid. It's a game. If you fell for it, sorry. Uh, uh, the, right doesn't, the, the right doesn't really need to fear the left. The left doesn't really need to fear the right. Uh, there have been Antifa people, some of you are on this call, uh, who, who have you know, come at me and stuff. Um, and, and I offered to meet with, meet with them for coffee in Seattle. Um, they, they didn't want to meet. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I know I wasn't going to hurt anybody uh, just like this. You know, I'm just happy to have a conversation, get real and, and solve stuff. Right. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I think there has to be a, a, a basis uh, for like being able to like uh, find truth. Right. And if you, you know, treat the whole universe as like a, a giant puzzle and, and somebody arbitrary decides to take away half the puzzle pieces, like what good does that do you? Right. Um, 
So you would say Epic helps run PSYOPs. No, I, Epic's not a PSYOP. We're not a PSYOP. Oh, wait, but I, if you're talking about taking away half of the puzzle pieces and you read the Bible, then what do you think about the Council of Nicaea where they removed half of the Bible because... Oh, man, it? I tell you what. No, you're right. I think I think that was bullshit. Uh, you know, uh, I think that, uh, like, you know, Book of Jasher, if you can find the one that is not uh, put out by the Rosicrucians, good read. Book of Enoch, good read. Uh, Maccabees, all four books, good read. Um Lots of lots of great scripture uh, that's not canonical, um, you know, will help you connect the dots. Uh, I think there's tremendous wisdom, um, you know, on my Twitter. Oh no, not my Twitter. Uh, internally, I posted like a Lao Tzu quote this morning. Uh, you know, the one that's about like you know your your thoughts. You know, it goes down to like character, right? You know, what, your thoughts lead to this, lead to this, right? The head bones connected to the cheek, cheekbone, whatever, right? Okay, so your thoughts basically ultimately define your character, right? Uh, you don't have to believe in a deity to know that that's probably true. Right. So, yeah. Uh, prayer meeting is a psyop. No, not a psyop. It's a free thing, you know? So when this COVID thing was going on, you know, non-denominational, we said, okay, can we create a tool and host it for free? We host this. There's no recording. There's no surveillance. Uh, if somebody's recording it, it's not me. Let's just say it that way. Um, so, yeah. What's my take on Spinoza and Pan? I don't know. I am I am not schooled. Uh, Pyramid King Ruben, lay it on us. What do we What do we need to know about Spinoza and pantheism? You have to talk uh, if you want to tell us. All right. I had a chance. Uh, yeah. So what else we got? Uh, demon spawn. What uh, demon? De what, what the Canadian guy uh, Kitaner. Are you there? Yeah, it's pronounced Kurtaner. But uh, okay. yes, uh, demonhackers.com is Demon another hack one of Charlie's right. properties, so, yes. So there's somebody in the chat that said you did the hack. Is that true? No, I'm not. First of all, no, I know I didn't do the hack. Second of all, I would never, ever, ever, ever admit to a federal crime in a space like this. I mean, what kind of question is that? God. Okay. All right. Well, I, I, I did not mean to offend. Right. He's uh, here for the same reason Stephen was. There, there's a site that has all his docs that Joey's running, uh, demonhackers.com. So, but which which is the site? So we took that site down, right? The problem site, uh, Joey's site. Yeah, yeah. Right? Demon Demon Hackers would be a redirect to uh, to another page for somebody from uh, Distributed Denial of Secrets, and, and that's that's a big overview page. It's got me, a couple of my friends, that that stuff. All right, all right, got it. So, uh, you know, so hypothetically. If it, not saying it was you, like hypothetically, like how how would someone have accomplished it? Because from my interpretation, it was a backup um, on a on a host that we will not name, uh, and that's all it was. I don't I don't I'm not aware of a successful penetration of Epic. Would you like to comment on that? I do know that there were valid SSH keys in the dump, and uh, as far as I'm aware, ah, uh, uh, but that's different. Right. So like, but the actual start of the penetration was accomplished by getting a copy of a backup. Is that, is that a fair characterization? I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't examined the dump to that degree. Uh, so I, I couldn't okay. comment on that. All right. But, but you have intimate familiarity with the person who was involved with the alleged hack. And no, no it, I'm not saying that you're it. I'm not asking you to, to, to condemn yourself though. So, and, 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 uh, I'm not here to mess, mess with your life. I'm not really a litigious person. We hired lawyers just because, you know, we have to deal with, like, state AGs or whatever. Uh, you know, in the event that we do, you know, we have to basically govern ourselves, you know, in a way that is, uh, you know, responsible, right? Uh, yeah. First of all, this was to basically cure, uh, you know, whatever was out there. We, you know, we set all the off codes and did everything basically textbook to be able to fix the problem. And, uh, you know, hired outside experts to just pound the crap out of the site uh, to see if there were any vulnerabilities. And I, I think we cured them. If we didn't, you know, please send me a note, Robert Epic. Uh, uh, I, I, will, I will happily uh, uh, appreciate any uh, assistance, guidance. Some of you guys are super duper knowledgeable um, on a level that I will never attain. Uh, we all have our gifts. I'm not a hacker. Uh, you know, I try not to get messed up. So, yeah, if you, if you, if you have more stuff, 
uh, where you've seen stuff in our code that's like really, really bad. Yes, I know there's a lot of bad legacy code. I got it. But if there's like an imminent vulnerability uh, in, in the code that uh, you think needs to be breached or needs to be cured, uh, please drop a note. Uh, I, I will return the favor, I promise. Do you um, have an active bug bounty program where you can uh, yes. state what it's worth? Yes, bugs at epic.com. Yes, we do. Uh, in fact, funny you should ask. So uh, I act, we have a very talented young developer in Belgium. His name is Guy, uh, like Guy, but Belgians pr pronounce it Guy, French. Uh, and uh, he is developing a, uh, a bug submission platform. Uh, we also uh, have started a company that you might have come across called Cybermarks. Um, and it is a cybersecurity boutique. And you might say, wow, guys, you guys are such clowns. Why would you, you know, start a cybersecurity company? Well, um, yeah. So the idea is, okay, you know, what, what can we do? So we hired a bunch of South Africans, uh, like an elite team of cybersecurity people. Uh, they, they only were at it for a couple of months uh, in terms of setting up, setting up their operation. They were uh, working for um, a, a high-level firm. Uh, and um, they're kingdom guys. Uh, so they work for the kingdom. They're, they're Christians. Uh, and uh, the, the uh, company that was employing them uh, wanted to do some stuff that they didn't feel comfortable with. And so they quit uh, as a cohort, uh, four of them, actually like eight of them, but four like elite cybersecurity guys. Uh, and uh, we hired them. So uh, that was about a month and a half ago. Uh, so cybermarks.com is, uh, is a division uh, that's uh, uh, being incubated by Epic. But I think we're going to hire... You know, quite a few like uh, heavy duty, like uh, cybersecurity guys. Uh, so if uh, if you're on the side of good, right, you want to basically turn from like the dark side, whatever. If you're like white hat and you want to be a force for good, uh, Cybermarks would be a fantastic uh, organization to be a part of, I would say. Um, we're a pretty cool company, guys. Uh, I know that we look like clowns to some of you when you look at the code, but uh, check out like epic.com forward slash labs. Uh, we're working on a single sign-on platform um, uh, called Valido, B-A-L-I-D-O dot com. Uh, it, you know, we have single sign-on, so the passwords that you saw in that uh, data dump, they're not they're not actual uh, because uh, the passwords are actually governed by the single sign-on. Uh, so we pivoted to a key cloak based uh, SSO platform uh, like uh, early this year, uh, back in January. So we have not been on that SSO that you saw. Uh, that is in the database, which is like legacy passwords. Uh, but but there are, you know, the MD5 wasn't salted, right? I mean, there, there was just a bunch of ineptitude, uh, you know, in there. And uh, thankfully, we were not using that. It's not production. Uh, and I think for legacy reasons, they never dropped those columns uh, in the tables. They should have um, because they, as, as you noted, you know, uh, somebody in, in the chat, uh, in the Twitter comment section, uh, talked about how it was not uh, uh, unsalted MD5, right? MD5 hash, so it was kind of like uh, below below uh, standard. So uh, that's the reason why. Uh, I don't know how many people will sign up with seven. Yeah, right, I got it, right? So, yeah, right, I got it. So I, I'm just saying, right, so to the extent that you guys uh, are aware, like this notion of a cyber pandemic, you know, Klaus Schwab World Economic Forum, like check it out, he goes on, you know, there comes this cyber pandemic, right? This guy, uh, uh, you know, to the extent that there's going to be a cyber pandemic, uh, you know, that's going to be an opportunity to create a lot of value, right? So um, just like, you know, the guys who made the viruses also sold the antiviruses, right? So let's, uh, you know, figure out a way to make a buck, right? Um, and and use, use it for good, right? As opposed to like bad stuff. How much user data? I'd like to hear more about that. Yeah, I'm. I'm not the expert on MD5 salted, unsalted. Don't ask me about encryption. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like a genius in this stuff. So, I. I'm happy to introduce you. If anybody, so what I saw, it was bad. Yeah, no, I agree. It was bad. Uh, absolutely. Um, and and if you missed it, um, the uh, the developers that we got from the Russian team, uh, you know, they're they're kind of captive, right? A dev team that's captive. Um, they're not Epic employees. Um, the legacy Russian dev team, they're, they're like part of our team, like they're part of our culture. 
Uh, I trust them implicitly. They're like brothers. Uh, many of them are Christians. Um, and, you know, we have we have Jews, we have Muslims. That's, that's not a statement. I'm just saying that, that we have some common uh, code of conduct. Uh, and they've been great. Uh, they've always uh, been, been honorable, fair. Um, you know, um, they're, they're smart, diligent. You know, call them at three in the morning to get out of bed, do whatever. Uh, but, you know, I think now that we've seen the code, um, you know, a bunch of stuff's going to get rewritten. It was already in motion. Uh, and I mentioned earlier about uh, a couple of really, you know, capable senior devs uh, that we've since added. Uh, they are coming on board. They've already come on board uh, because of these recent acquisitions and some new hires. Um, and they are uh, completely retooling, um, you know, the entire development workflow. Um, and we use, you know, um, I think you would be impressed, right, by the the coding methods and frameworks uh, and protocols. You can look up uh, David Roman uh, and Justin Tab. Uh, uh, capable guys. And then Michael Zimmerman, the ex-director of IT at InfoWars, he's not a coder, but uh, he has a lot of experience with migrating people out of AWS. Um, we did acquire uh, a data center a company with two data centers, underground uh, data centers. Um, and uh, we acquired two other hosting companies, uh, one in Portugal and one in Bangladesh. Uh, and uh, we haven't announced uh, those deals, um, but uh, we do have a uh, considerable amount of uh, vertical integration now in hosting infrastructure. So we're going to get it. We're going to get our ducks fully in a row. Uh, and and my guess is within within six months, um, we, we we will be fairly competent uh, in the cybersecurity arena. And if and if there are people that are like hardcore hackers that want to be on the side of good, uh, making yeah no hosting in Bangladesh interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, then then you know we have jobs right. You know we have we raised a considerable amount of money. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we're, we're happy to employ honorable people. I, I don't think Weave is going to be able to submit his resume. Uh, I just don't think he's got a great vibe about him. So, you know, if you're an asshole, then, then, uh, then, uh, you know, we don't really want to have, um, you hanging around and spewing garbage. Uh, but if you want to turn the page and be a kinder version of yourself, uh, love your neighbor as yourself and, and maybe do a better job, uh, uh, then, uh, then, then absolutely. We try people out. There was a guy that we hired. Um, first letter of his name is A. Uh, I won't leave his name. We hired him. Uh, he, uh, he, he developed kind of a substance problem and, uh, we let him go and he was kind of rogue, uh, not very intelligent. Um, and, uh, so, you know, there are people though that you try to help, uh, that you can't always help. Um, and, and so sometimes you just can't lift somebody out of their, yeah, addiction's hard. It's true. Uh, people with hardcore addiction, um, you know, it's a slippery slope. So, but but I tell you, uh, you can break every vice in Jesus' name. I I, I, I think that uh, we all have our vices, uh, and I have absolutely seen evidence uh, that that even the most hardcore addiction can be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, weed is a slippery slope. I smoked weed in college, uh, not much, uh, uh, but the freshman year of college. <laughs> Yeah, fresh. I mean, I was, I was wild. Uh, I, I mean, I was not. I was not a regenerate dude. I'll tell you that. Um, I was. Uh, I was with the Cornell Road uh, for Cornell varsity crew. Uh, but freshman year, um, man, freshman man, um, frat parties. You know, girls, um, drugs, weed. Um, did it all. Uh, did not take SL, Did not take LSD. Uh, didn't really do any other drugs. I have no other experience with drugs. I drink too much coffee. Uh, my go-to is uh, uh, whole beans from Trader Joe's, and I grind them myself with a push the button. I can, I can, I can do like three things: empty the dishwasher, take a piss, and uh, and uh, make a coffee. Uh, all while the coffee's brewing, it's fully automated. Coffee latte. Uh, I have a method of making coffee latte. Uh, I, I I brew the coffee like two shot espresso. I put the milk in and, uh, and then I let the frother steam while I go do other stuff. Uh, and it works really well. Uh, so, hey, Rob, let, yeah. let me ask you a question here um, related to something you just said, not, not about the college stuff, but right before that, yeah. uh, about all the work that's going into Epic now, right? You've got a lot of work going into it. You've got new teams, you've got new people. Um, would you then say, and th this is a, a, a leap, 
that uh, in the end, this hack is actually making Epic better because it has identified all of these problems, and without it, who knows who would have been abusing these problems. So this hack actually made your platform better is what it sounds like you're saying? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, so Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Um, I believe all lemons are for lemonade. Um, and I got to tell you guys, yesterday was the hardest day of my life. Uh, some of you uh, wouldn't know that. Most of you wouldn't know that. But, but I was actually at the closest I ever got to being broken. Uh, and uh, it was a very hard day uh, because just so many things came at me from all different sides. Um, you know, you haven't really like lived like, like I've walked through the fire, right? For the last three years, I've walked through the fire. Um, and uh, you can walk through the fire and it doesn't burn you. That's what I've learned. Um, uh, and, and, but, but there's like a different level of fire when you have freaking anonymous light your ass up. Um, it's on another level. Um, and uh, I have to tell you that yesterday totally took me to the threshold where I'm like, wow, how much can I take? Uh, and uh, so anyway, it all worked out, though. Uh, you know, we, we, it was a $100,000 you know, crypto hack. We, we plugged that gap. We didn't lose any domains, thank God. Um, and uh, you know, I tell you, kind of somebody's got a thing. All right, so uh, yeah, we didn't lose any domains. Uh, and uh, we actually gained more domains than we lost yesterday. Uh, that was a freaking miracle. Uh, but, you know, praise God. And then um, today, too, I think we probably gained more domains than we lost. Um, and some of the people in media, um, they were not kind to us. Um, uh, but I absolutely think you're right, Greg. Um, um, it didn't kill us. It's going to make us stronger. Uh, you know, the code base that the Russians were like totally like safeguarding. They wouldn't give our new engineers access to the Git. Now we know why the code sucked. Uh, and uh, ironically, now we have them all. Uh, we've got uh, SSH keys to, you know, 70 servers and uh, all kinds of legacy stuff. Um, and uh, we've gone, we're going through all of it, um, everything. Uh, and we've hired like really top uh, cybersecurity uh, outside expert. Uh, there are a bunch of people that have showed up out of the blue saying, hey, we'd like to help, uh, you know, offering to do pen testing, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we're, 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 you know, getting our ducks in a row. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I feel terrible. Uh, yesterday was, I tell you, like I, I weeped. Uh, you know, we actually had a craziest thing. Um, uh, so I had a call at Five in the morning, got up at four forty in the morning for this five a.m. call with the cybersecurity group, um, and uh, this uh, cybersecurity group uh, gave us a briefing. And then after that, um, our guy in South Africa, his name is Carlos, he pronounced it Carlo. He's Portuguese, but he lives in South Africa. He's like uh, Rob. Uh, we need a meeting. We need we need this meeting, a prayer meeting. And they're all right. Let's do it. And so uh, he convenes a meeting, explains to me how it's going to go. Five guys, a uh, guy named John, Carlos, Ivan, DeWalt, myself. And uh, so three South Africans and two Americans. And um, we have this hour and 15 minute meeting, courts of heaven, um, um, throne room, like total get it done, break every curse. All, I mean, I am not gifted on that level. I, I, I know how to pray, but this was on another level. Um, and uh, I'm telling you, there were there were curses put on these on these data sets, um, and 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 not out of spite. Uh, I'm just saying that it was done, um, and uh, I'm just giving you a heads up. Uh, there there are curses. Uh, laptops will burn, hard drives will burn, and we'll see if it's true. But uh, you know, there's there's. I don't need a sledgehammer. No, nah, no, just delete it. Uh, just delete. Just 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 uh, you know, re just uh, um, repudiate it. Um, in Jesus' name is what I would recommend. Thermite right, actually works really, really well for burning yeah. hard drives. Yeah, and, and, and I'm not, and I'm, not, and I'm, not, and I'm, saying, I'm just saying repudiate it, right? In other words, we all make mistakes, right? So don't forget, like, you got, like, uh, Saul of Tarsus, right? Saul of Tarsus was, like, a hardcore murderer, 
uh, and he became Paul the Apostle. Um, you know, David, um, you know, um, you know, the, 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 the great King David, right? You know, he, he had the heart for Bathsheba, checked out Bathsheba. You know, Bathsheba's husband was out at war. He hooks up with Bathsheba. They have a baby. He's like, oh, crap, what am I going to do? He kills, he kills the husband of Bathsheba, right? They lose their baby. And then, uh, and then a year That's later, whatever, they, they have Solomon. So Solomon ends up basically, you know, um, so anyway, the point is like God will use with all kinds of people. It doesn't matter what stupid mistakes you ever made. So uh, I don't think curse is the right language to her stuff. Yeah. I mean, to be clear, right. I'm just giving you a heads up you know, before the sun sets in, in, in Honolulu, uh, where it's the end of the day of atonement. Um, I'm just saying, if I were you, I would get rid of those data sets. If you have it, and I don't care. I mean, the data is all out there. Um, uh, you know, you you can you can keep it if you want. I'm just giving you a heads up. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, people who are using it for like white hat stuff. If your intent is to use it for benevolent purposes, you know, to make sure there's no problem data, keep it. Right. I mean, the code is out there. Uh, you know. Um, I mean, some of the code doesn't suck. Uh, um, you know, there's some bad coding aspects, uh, clearly, um, like API keys, you know, hard coded in the code, you know, config files, um, not up to speed. But, um, yeah, but I would just say, um, uh, if you have a negative intent uh, to use that data, I, it's not going to work out for you. I'm just telling you. I am telling you, I love thy neighbor as thyself. I would just give you my strong counsel to not do it. Um, if the demon tells you to do it, the demon is not your friend. Um, what demon? So uh, uh, I'm good. That's the case. What domain register? So uh, you know, if you, um, I wouldn't use GoDaddy. Um, it's crap product, crap service. Um, um, you know, we we out we out pulled GoDaddy in the Red Star of the Year award. Uh, two to one uh, in the 2000 uh, Registrar of the Year award, uh, and uh, GoDaddy is no daddy. Yeah, I would not use them. Um, they're nice people, by the way. I have to say, I mean, they are very lovely people uh, at the at the lower level of the organization, um, and they're overpriced. I think that's right. Uh, if you go to epic.com forward slash free, it catalogs like all the stuff that we give you for free. I would encourage you to check that out. Um, but Do you uh, need discount codes like the my pillow guy. Yeah, well, so like, for example, .com transfer right now is $6.99 for unlimited uh, .com transfer. Uh, I would encourage you to check that out. Uh, so uh, on September 1st, go, uh, the registry raised their prices by like 7%, and uh, we didn't. Uh, so we held our price. So it's $6.99, all-inclusive, including the ICANN fee, regardless of payment method. You can pay with the crypto. Um with free privacy, free forwarding, lots of stuff, epic.com forward slash free, free WordPress hosting, uh, basic, you, you know, no custom templates, but you can use free basic WordPress hosting. And uh, $6.99.com transfer, and then $8.49 uh, uh, all-inclusive renewal, which is below cost. Uh, so um, does Epic take a loss in keeping it? Yes, we do. Um, so why do we do that? Uh, we lose money on our .com names uh, uh, because uh, when our clients sell domains to an end user, we typically can sell them hosting, um, um, CDN, DDoS mitigation. Um, you know, a really good way to make money is to use offshore accounts to launder money from the bottom. I've always found that's been, you know, j just throwing that up there. Uh, so offshore accounts, break that down for me. I don't know. If you're Panama Papers, you were. I uh, I don't know. Oh no, I mean Panama Papers. I don't. You know, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I was. I don't know if I was in the Panama Papers. That's news to me. Um, uh, but uh, you know, um, I had a Coinbase account. That's actually very interesting that you mentioned that because um, I have a, I have a Coinbase account, uh, and I don't use it very much. Uh, I hadn't used it in years, and then yesterday. Talk about my bad day. I, I get this email that I'm overdrafted. I'm overdrafted by 60 grand because this legacy Coinbase account that almost nobody uses, um, you know, which is like the first Coinbase, the first crypto, we were like one of the first registrars to, to accept crypto. And uh, back then, about the Masterbucks thing, right? No, I, I could talk about that. We could talk about Masterbucks. Okay, um, so, so that's different from the crypto thing. Yeah. Which is different from 
the Swiss bank account thing? They don't have a Swiss bank. There's no Swiss bank oh, okay. account. Sorry. My bad. No, uh, islands? Anything in the islands? Nothing. Uh, nope. No Caymans, no, no, no islands. Um, we have, uh, so we acquired um, a, uh, an Irish uh, crypto exchange. You can, you can check it out. It's called Amplify.io. Um, I'm told it's pretty secure. You guys can try and hack it. Um, Amplify.io. Um, and uh, it's domiciled in Ireland. Um, it's licensed as a crypto exchange. And uh, we ended up uh, acquiring that company in April um, of this year. Um, we're working on an NFT platform uh, called Fraction, F-R-A-K-T-I-O-N, um, and uh, but you know all like Reg D, Reg S compliant stuff, right? Um, we hired a full-time in-house lawyer. Um, uh, that lawyer brings in other lawyers, uh, you know, as needed. Um, and uh, before you got here, I mentioned that we raised thirty-two million dollars in uh, in outside growth capital um, from a guy who didn't ask for a board seat. Um, and it's all common stock. I'm overwhelmingly the majority shareholder. Um, and uh, there are no other board directors uh, at this time. We had two board directors. They were both Jewish. They both resigned uh, because the Gab stuff, I think, was too hot. And then after that, the stupid HM thing. It was a client for two days, and and, uh, and we let them go. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not easy running Epic, right? You have to, you have to understand, like, you know, um, like trying to like thread the needle on like what's lawful free speech um, is not an easy task. Um, you know, the decision tonight to, to like turn off Joey's uh, site is not a light decision. It's like, you know what, you know, can I extend an olive branch, you know, uh, to, to the netizens, right, to the community of Internet people that says, OK, if, if that's doxing because there's like a screenshot of, uh, you know, some nasty stuff. Uh, uh, about people, and it includes people's home addresses. Um, then that that's 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 you know crosses a line. If that's if that's what was going on, and it basically causes people harm. You know, it needs to come down. So you know, but there are things that we deal with, like Gab, um, like uh, you know, some of these health sites. Um, like uh, let's be real, um, um, Mike the Health Ranger. Um, lovely nice guy but he spouts some garbage uh and uh and i and i you know he's he, he's a client in like a small way um but uh you know when he goes out there with this like crazy town stuff um you know it's it's not um it's not uh very honorable right you know because i get it like if you're if you're alex jones and you've got to like talk for three hours a day um and and maintain an audience sometimes you have to maybe you know kind of be a little fringe um, he gets some stuff right, uh, but you know a lot of the stuff maybe you know, you know he, ha he has to rely on other people to vet his facts, and uh, um, you know we have to kind of come back to the decision of is this person trying to be a force for good as they kind of navigate the issue of, of truth, and it's I think it's extremely hard uh, you know to be like an on-demand person like earlier today um, some of you guys know I run a like a, a like a ministry. Thing called Fast Brothers. Uh, Phil actually is on. The, he's the guy. Uh, there, where's this Phil? Phil, wait, hey, hi, Phil. There's Phil. All right. So Phil, 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 <laughs> Phil works uh, for Times Square Church, uh, and uh, and Phil uh, called the other day uh, as a client, and uh, and uh, after an hour and a half uh, call as a client, I offered him a job, and he agreed to come work for us. But uh, we had this thing this evening. Uh, you know, called Fast Brothers, uh, and it's like basically prayer, fasting, and uh, and uh, communion. Um, and uh, you know, this exists uh, as a as a way to kind of bring people together, cross denominations, and, and try and figure stuff out. Um, and one guy that came on the on the call tonight, first time, I would say the guy's prophetically gifted. Um, but there are there are have been prophets like in the past. You know, modern day prophets, you know, where they like fill like uh, a Colosseum, you know, and then have to like Kim Clements was one of these guys, so he would like fill a Colosseum uh, and then and, and do like prophecy on demand. And I don't think that's very easy. I think that would be extremely hard. I would want that job. Uh, I think that's a hard way to make a buck. And I think he died young because uh, it's probably not an easy way to make a living. So, anyway, sidebar. Uh, acceptable use policy. Yeah, if you guys think that's like, 
something wrong in our acceptable use policy, drop me a note, Rob at Epic.com, uh, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at that. Can um, we still host sites that sell drugs on Epic, or is that a no-no now? Uh, no, so like, um, so that's a, that's an interesting question, right? So we uh, we enforce uh, court orders, right? And so you know the challenge that we have. And, you know, I don't know to what extent the question is being asked in good faith, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you as I see it. Um, uh, and I, if you go and do a, uh, a search, go on Google and search uh, Epic Legit Script, um, I did a, uh, a, a blog post years ago about the time I told Legit Script to pound sand. Uh, and that I annoy them uh, because, uh, you know, my policy is very simple. It's like, get a court order. If somebody is engaging in uh, malfeasance, get a court order, uh, and and we honor those court orders. Uh, uh, also, um, the WIPO has the UDRP process. When there's a UDRP order, uh, we enforce it. Um, so if somebody, like for example, there was a guy you know who bought a bunch of uh, Coinbase typo names, um, and uh, he still had them on Epic. And we're not a fan of that. We're not really a fan of if it's phishing. We you know we, we don't allow it. But he wasn't doing phishing, he was doing redirect uh, for these typo names. And uh, he got a UDRP, he lost, um, and whatever value was accrued in, in owning those names, you know, he lost it. Because like, if you're engaging in something that is dodgy, um, then uh, you're probably not going to out yourself in responding to a UDRP claim, uh, because to answer a UDRP, you have to basically decloak. Um, you know, you, it's very hard to defend a UDRP without identifying yourself as a real person. Yeah, like a cloak of invisibility, like in Harry Potter or what? No, it's like, uh, who is Privacy Proxy, right? So Anonymize is owned by Epic, um, and we uh, allow people to go and basically do Privacy Proxy for free. Uh, we believe privacy is a right, not a privilege, so we don't charge for it. Uh, we never charge for it. Somebody in one of the Twitter comments said that, you know, we had charged all this money for privacy, that didn't work. Uh, the answer is no, not quite. Uh, we never charge for it. It's always been free. Uh, GoDaddy charges money for it. A lot of people charge money for it. Uh, we never did. Um, and uh, and we have a an ICANN compliant who is privacy proxy. It's anonymized, incorporated. It's owned by the same parent company. So there's Epic Holdings Inc. and then there's Epic Inc. and then there's Anonymized Inc. Uh, they're, they're part of the same parent, but uh, we don't actually um, charge for privacy. Um, we took it down uh, because the keys were compromised, um, and so we uh, we will put it back up maybe tomorrow. Uh, yeah, because we also offer a free VPN. Uh, those of you who need a free VPN, I'm gonna. Um, we have a free VPN, um, and normally it works. Uh, there's a free one and a paid one. Um, so uh, let's see, I think users should automatically be prompted to change their password. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think that uh, that hasn't been deployed yet. Um, but there will be a forced uh, password change. Um, and just to, just to recap, for those of you who didn't catch it before, uh, we run a single sign-on product based on Keycloak uh, called Federated Identity. It is separate from the data set that was evidently compromised. Uh, and so we don't believe that Federated Identity has been compromised. And I, I, don't, I don't think there's imminent risk. If somebody see, thinks there's imminent risk, Drop you a note, uh, but you know, Key Cloak latest version um, um, seems pretty solid, and uh, we do have a plan to rebrand that. Uh, I, I the auth codes that were leaked were not current. Um, uh, they have all been changed twice. Uh, once immediately as the as as the uh, information was spreading, um, and uh, I kept my mouth shut for a couple of days while we basically worked very hard through the night uh, to tidy up. Um, but we changed all the auth codes and then we changed them again. So they've been changed twice in the last 48 hours. Uh, we ran through all of them. So all the auth codes um, have been changed. The domains were locked. And to basically transfer a name, you would need both the auth code and you would need to unlock the name. Um, if you had an unlocked name and you had the valid auth code, you could steal a domain. Uh, I don't believe any domains have been stolen. Um, and, you know, checked it throughout the day, you know, the last couple of days. Um, yeah, I was slightly terrified, uh, uh, you know, just in case that were to happen. Uh, I think that would be an extremely bad day. Uh, you know, uh, the good news is we're on great speaking terms with the CEOs of all the major registrars. 
you you know, if you do steal a name, you'd have to like go to like a Jala or somebody like that, you know, who basically is lawless and unaccountable. Um, and you know, probably so. lovely people. I know, but you know, but they don't, but they, but but they are willfully and brazenly uh, lawless and unaccountable, right? I mean, they steal other people's intellectual property, and you know, but anyway, I don't judge them. I'm just saying that that, that I've never had uh, a relationship with them. So if you wanted to be, you know, a, a cyber criminal. Uh, then you would probably take the names to like China. Cyber criminal. Cyber. That's a terrible thing to say, Rob. I would rather do cyber crime. No, no, Our no. Only no. crime is curiosity. Yeah, no, I get it. Demon spawns uh, probably don't uh, do any cyber crime at all. Um, so uh, I would just say that if you were going to steal a name, uh, then then Injala is probably a receptacle of that, and then. Uh, there are Chinese registrars who basically ignore all UDRPs. And I can't tell if it's because they're lawless or because they don't read English. Uh, but uh, if, you can, if you can hold a domain in China, you can get away with it for a while. Um, yeah. you, know the, the, you know the real problem, Rob, is that, you know, RDEP is being an RFC rewrite for who is lookups and being, you know, further obfuscation of these sites. Don't you think that, that I can't, you know, something needs to be done there? Yeah, so uh, um, so high fidelity. I don't know what your real name is, but um, um, uh, I'll just call you High. Uh, if you go to change your name, excellent choice. Excellent choice. Okay, HF. Uh, so uh, so uh, I would uh, I would say RDAP. Like I was not a big fan of RDAP, and I'll tell you why. Um, I, I went to many ICANN meetings. Uh, I lobbied against RDAP. You know why? Uh, I lobbied against RDAP because, um, right, so ICANN meetings, right, they're like free, anybody can go to them. Uh, they're Did they ever hold any on Epstein's Island, do you know? Uh, no, 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 they're only ho they're hosted in like big cities and uh, big conference centers, and they, they're like four days, they're parties every night. Um, um, and uh, Any Eastern European models? Uh, no, it's not like that. Uh, it's it's more bar bar scene, restaurant, free food, but uh, there's no no strippers, none of that. It's not like that. It's not like a salacious crowd. Just just to cure that illusion, um, they're not they're not they're not boring. Uh, they're they're not just nerds. They're, some of these guys are fun and cool, but I'm just saying that it's not it's not. If you're thinking like uh, you know Puerto Rico crypto crowd, it's it's not that. So uh, RDAP. So RDAP. Here's the here's the dirty little secret about RDAP. RDAP, um, they basically wanted to deploy a model where law enforcement and approved individuals could pierce the privacy veil at will. And I, Ooh, I would law enforcement penetrating things. Never heard of it. Yeah, no, exactly. So, like, here's the thing, right? Normally, when Epic is highly functioning uh, and and not having backups of data hijacked by opportunists uh, or people who were corrupted and bought off or whatever. It's a um, backup. We're here to help. Disaster. And, no, I, and I appreciate that. Obligatory yeah, backups. Always the best. Yeah. So, thanks, Demon. Um, so, uh, what I was going to say, though, is that uh, RDAP basically had this deal where approved individuals would have the ability to pierce the privacy veil at will. And uh, I never agreed to that. So, what we did... Um, is we allow people to own names under uh, uh, anonymize. So you could actually list anonymize as the registrant, as the legal registrant of your name for free. So even if RDAP was working and pierced the privacy veil, uh, all you would see is the privacy proxy. Because, uh, hold on HF, uh, uh, the only requirement for ICANN from a compliance standpoint is that the domain name has to be owned by a legal person like a non-real, a, a non-fake person, or a legal entity, and Anonymize Inc. satisfies the condition for being a legal entity. And so, when somebody does a UDRP action against a domain name that is owned by Anonymize, Anonymize is the initial respondent until we have an opportunity to go to the registrant and say, "Do you want to decloak? Because if you don't, you will lose by default." Go ahead, HF. So decloak, you mean that? Um they used the uh, email address that was just a standard set of numbers at 
anonymized, and, and they used those numbers as an email address, but that email address also tied to the record in Epic's database of users, right? Isn't that uh, how that all been put together? It, it seems like it online. No, so it's, it's, right it's, 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 it's random. So there was a point in time, like a year ago, when you would be like hf at anonymized.com, hf.com at anonymized.com. Let's say you had the domain name hf.com, probably be worth like a million dollars. Uh, uh, hf.com at anonymized.com. And of course, then any um, spammer could just engineer that and just spam the crap out of domain plus domain at anonymized.com. And uh, we said clearly that's not a great plan. Uh, so we moved to a random hash. So if you look at how the anonymized email addresses work now, it's a random rotating hash. So it gets rotated every whatever every few days. Okay, but did you also use those anonymized email addresses for the contact information somewhere in the user's sites so that there wasn't actually, I mean, now that all this data is coming out and we're looking at it, it doesn't look like it's that anonymized. I, I mean, wrong. Yeah, so like I said, like I, I think it was earlier this year, right? So the, the, the thing that was snagged uh, from the backup as, as I believe it was, uh, subject to further confirmation uh, by crap, by forensic people. Um, so um, that upgrade earlier this year, I don't know if it was in March or February, I don't know when we made that change, but we moved to a model where, uh, hold on guys, this is my wife, one second. She's in Austin, Texas, one second. She called me. Hey there. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, on, a, I'm, on, a, I'm on a conference call. Can I call you? Can I call, I'll, I'll, everything's good. Can I call you back? No. No. Um, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Love you. Bye. All right. So, uh, yeah, wife is with my daughter down in Austin, Texas. I was supposed to be in Austin, Austin Texas tonight. Uh, uh, my daughter is, uh, is, is uh, going to... Uh, uh, I think row at Austin, Texas. Uh, she's a really competitive rower. Taco um, trucks in Austin. The taco trucks in Austin are awesome. Dude. They are very good. Uh, and when I go to uh, South by Southwest, uh, I, I get a taco. Yeah. Um, you know what really sucks though is they close down Brazos Bra Bra Street, Bar. right? Brazos Street. There's a there's a yeah yeah. There. Uh, but they closed down Friedman's Bar, which was was over by the and then that place that was place was amazing. It used to be a black church, right? Um, it, it was Friedman's, and and it was such a, a cornerstone of the community in the in the black community in Austin, Texas at the time. Which is, you know, it's, to me that's really really cool. Um, yeah, but I'm not quite surprised. So yeah, yeah, got it. So, what do you do for a living, HF? I live on the internet. That's what you I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but how do you make a buck to pay the groceries? All sorts of things. <laughs> That's funny. Go T guy. Bob's making fun of you, bro. Go T guy looks like he took too much acid at Soundgarden concert and never recovered. That's not nice. That's not nice. Uh, I uh, I see the inner divinity of HF, uh, even if you guys don't see it. I, I, I think he actually has some inner divinity. Don't underestimate him. He has great potential. I'm actually, okay, so I'll stop being a smart ass here. Sorry, Bob. Um, I'm a technologist. I'm a futurist. Uh, I do some OSINT stuff. I do everything from storage, networking, virtualization. Uh, I tend to stay away from the cloud stuff because I don't trust cloud companies. I mean, if you look at the, oh, my God, Azure hack that just came out recently, you know, one packet and you've got root on an Azure virtual machine. No thanks, man. Um, All right. Uh, uh, got it, uh, Mikael. Did I get it right, Mikael? I I think I I think I've seen your work. I think you're uh, you're the guy who does. Uh, oh, that was a really really nasty article that you wrote. Um, dot uh, something. Um, so uh, yeah, I already said that I'm I'm gonna check out this uh, other site. I did I don't know if we're hosting it. Uh, check the IP what, address. What, what did you uh, find nasty about the article? Oh, uh, well, it just—it it, it seemed like a really, a really negative slant. Uh, I, I didn't read it very carefully. Oh, I didn't, uh, uh, dot, right? Your daily dot, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, I, I have to go back and look at it. It's good. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute. 
that. Uh, um, one sec. Um, yeah, um, yeah. No offense. Uh, uh, I, it didn't seem like it was attempting to be too balanced, but I mean, we acknowledge, right, that that a bunch of crappy code, um, you know, from legacy stuff acquired, you know, ten years ago, uh, that hadn't been uh, retooled uh, was out there and uh, isn't up to par. So um, Rob, you got to update your systems, man. I mean, think about it. Look what happened with the Equifax hack, bro. One guy. Right. Supposedly didn't update hey, one web server. Got, so here, 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 check this out. Check check this out though. Here's the thing, right? You know, cybersecurity is 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 a problem, right? Because everybody can be bought. Like I saw I saw some trash talk by uh, by Joey, right? The guy that a lot of you guys hate. Um, he's like, I'm gonna. I think he said something like, I'm gonna go hire somebody to steal your phone. Uh, I think I, I think I saw him write that. I was like, you're an idiot, right? You are a freaking idiot. Um, uh, uh, thank you, literally. Uh, nice comment there. Appreciate that. Um, and uh, uh, so, yeah, um, we're, we're going to, if we're hosting that site, uh, it will come down. Uh, and it will come down long enough for him to uh, get rid of any doxing. Uh, and, and and maybe he just needs to find something else to do. Because, like, like, you know, whoever whoever was responsible for killing his sister, um, just... Just make peace with him. I mean, if you're like, if you're like related to the person who killed his sister, or you know who is, just just make peace with the dude, because uh, he has like so much unresolved anger, um, vengeful anger uh, directed at the quote unquote Antifa people that he believes is responsible for the murder of his sister, and uh, I think it just consumes him. I think that. He just, it just, it turned him to kind of, as I called him, I called him like digital Batman, but you know, digital Batman with like a, with like a slightly dark side, right? So it's not like a guy who's completely self-governing. I've seen him, you know, swear like a sailor. Um, I, I know he's jumped fences. Um, uh, it, evidently he dispatches people to steal phones. Um, so, you know, he has got a lot of unresolved dark side that needs to be worked out. Robert, you are white nationalist. Uh, I am white, um, and uh, I think that uh, we shouldn't have open, open borders. Where are you from? Where are your parents from? I'm no, Dutch. No, I'm a Dutch. Dutch. American. I'm Dutch. Yeah, Wait, so. no, no. Then listen. This is the source of the problem, and I'm telling you the solution. What am I? I'm fucking Irish, and I'm fucking German. Fuck those labels people are using. That's the source of this shit. And we as human beings think we're so cocky and we know everything. I'm not attacking you, brother. I'm not talking about that. Also, for security, it doesn't matter how up-to-date your shit is. Someone can use a zero-day exploit if they have enough money. There are millions of zero-day exploits on a long I list agree. that have never been used. I agree. That at any point in time, it's almost a waste of money. Why do you think the military hasn't updated their nuclear crap in like 60 or something years using old floppy technology? That's super reliable. You're never going to hack into that. Right. Oh, it's also probably uh, you know air gapped and all that. So, um, I would, but I would say that uh, uh, as to the question about white nationalist, uh, you know, They're not asking you if you're a nationalist. They're speaking in a feminine language. Feminine language has nothing to do with the word they're actually telling you. Feminine well, language I look feminine is, to you. is no. Listen, this is the nature of reality. No, no, I'm no, using it. No, there is no I'm being adversarial. Your I'm trying to slide. I happen to like cooking. I happen to like interior. I don't man, I like cooking I too. Like you're taking woman. it offended. Don't how offended. dare you, you sir? How fucking dare you? Whatever. Anyway, if you do research throughout all the fucking history, the label for things in reality has been masculine and feminine, and these are all everywhere. No, that's wrong. That's already wrong because there are multiple fucking anyway, cultures when the world at the third way. way and when you can use say this so, word, that's a lie. word, what they're really saying uh, is what they mean. When a person is usually using the word nationalist, 
what they really mean is going to be a mystery to you. So you should, if you look in the Bible, how many yes or no questions did Jesus answer? Now you're mixing how many political and religious yes terms. No, no sir. Your argument is deeply deeply flawed. That if you directly answer the question, you're already fucked. And that's how the politicians do what they do. They don't directly answer any question. And you, you're trying to throw your head against a brick wall by doing the opposite of what they're doing. And they're being successful. Was I not? not sir. I'm saying, when someone asks you if you're white nationalist or not, what they're... Mute time out because people were uh, not behaving. Uh, uh, yeah, just uh, drop, stop, skip the skip the f bombs. Let's just, let's just keep it civil uh, and try and work it out. HF man, I, I, I you're a smart guy, uh, but uh, uh, enlightenment. I don't know. Just can't can't really feel that yet. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sorry, man. I have a lot of hate in my heart. I'm trying I to. You have, I know you have. I know you have. But God loves you, man. Uh, you get you gotta resolve that hate. It's gonna kill you. You got you have cancer. Or what kind of diseases are you carrying with you? Uh, actually, I'm in perfect health aside from having a bunch of titanium in my body from a car accident. Right. Car accident. So where where did that hate come from? Group therapy. Seriously, like like where did the hate come from? Like why why do you hate the, the internet hate machine? Yeah, but, but why you? Right, you have to onboard this stuff. Right, you have to basically at some point say I that I I accept the idea that I should hate people indiscriminately. It's like, why would you do Rob, that? Rob, we live in a capitalist society. Capitalist society is based on predatory behavior. It doesn't have to be. I got one for you. I, I figured something out really mighty. I'm going to share it with you. Scarcity is an illusion. I promise you. It, it could be that we have too many billionaires, Rob. No, but here's the thing. I pray for the billionaires. Uh, and, uh, and you know what? I pray they don't hurt too bad when we see them. You money. know what? I had a I had a billionaire, uh, a billionaire. In fact, true story, craziest thing. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was, uh, uh, you know, heading to a uh, uh, meeting, undisclosed location, uh, and uh, and the Saturday before the meeting, uh, I have a dear friend who's kind of a prophetic guy, and I'm going to just mute this a lot back. Um, uh, and he said to me, uh, he said, Rob, this night, two billionaires are being saved and have all the money that you need. And I thought that that's, that's pretty whack. Uh, but that's really interesting. Anyway, we raised 32 million from a billionaire. Uh, and so I knew who one of the, one of the identities was, I didn't know that he'd come to Christ. He'd come to Christ. Um, he, he realized, you know, who he was, and uh, that showed up at his house on a Tuesday morning, Tuesday evening for dinner, uh, and uh, there was a box of uh, a book, a giant box from the Christian bookstore, sitting at his doorstep. Um, and evidently, he must have come to Christ that weekend. Uh, I don't know. Strange. Uh, and I guess there's a second billionaire. I have a theory who it is, but uh, but I, I will tell you this: scarcity is an illusion, um, and uh, the entire economic paradigm is built on the premise of scarcity. And making people eat, operate with a dog eat dog mindset, um, rather than realizing we're all in this together. That that the idea of love your neighbor as yourself is not some high ideal. It is actually the best advice anybody ever gave you. And when you actually, you know, take an approach where you treat everybody who comes to your path with humility and compassion, your whole world transforms around you. Right. So even the most dark, mean-spirited individual, if you attempt to engage that person with humility and compassion, more times than not, they will actually respond to that. And, you know, sometimes you have to confront it, like if it's really like outrageous anger. Um, but I think that is very effective. And, and what I've generally found is if you treat people as a criminal, they will manifest criminal. And if you treat people according to their highest self, they will eventually manifest their highest self. Uh, there's a guy we helped uh, sell a bunch of adult names um and 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 i was like you know i was asked like should we deny this transaction a portfolio of adult names and i was like you know what i in my spirit i think that we should help this guy um and uh, and so i called the dude um and i asked him what's your why and he's like i i my my girlfriend is pregnant 
um, we're getting married and I need to leave this business. I said, good for you. And we helped him sell those names. Um, and, uh, and he is no longer an adult entertainment um, guy. Uh, so guy walked off the battlefield, you know, out of that business. Uh, so, you know, you never know. You just, you know, you, you know, just because somebody starts, you know, um, you know, in a mode where they're operating with a scarcity mindset that they feel like they have to lower themselves you know, to be able to make a living, put food on the table. It isn't necessarily the only way forward, right? But anyway, uh, there's there's N E and it keeps disappearing. There's a, N E I think is his initials. Uh, N eight N eight. He wanted to ask a question. Anyway, it, it said that he wanted to raise his hand, but he doesn't have a question. So, uh, so uh, at what age did I become a Christian? Uh, I will I will tell you. Hey Jeff, I'm going to come to you. Um, let me answer this question and then I'll come to you. Um, so, um, true story, uh, from, uh, so, uh, summer 2000, no, uh, January 2007, uh, I, uh, I was, uh, fired, uh, from a company that I had founded in 1999, um, and, uh, I just raised $35 million, uh, uh for this company. Uh, Global Market Insight PMI. Uh, I was named Entrepreneur of the Year, 2006, and uh, the, the the board that had come in uh, in this financing in 2006, um, they uh, they they just the, the the chairman decided to give me the boot, um, and uh, you know at the time you know had you know private jet and and uh, you know uh, you know Maserati in the garage and all that. Um, and, you know, I was like, you know, I'm full of myself. Uh, you know, I thought I was all that. And, uh, um, you know, had lots of vices uh, and uh, been terrible, faithful to my wife and all that. But, I mean, I had I had vices uh, and I swore like a sailor. Uh, and uh, I, uh, you know, was judgmental, discriminatory. Uh, you know, I, 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 I made gay jokes. And, you know, I mean, I, I, was, I was not a good guy. Uh, and, uh, and, and so in, in January, 2007, I got fired. Um, and, uh, I spent like two weeks on the beach, um, in, uh, Cabo San Lucas, uh, basically, uh, kind of like just being despondent, like this thing that I had spent six years, seven years building, um, uh, which was a very big part of my identity, uh, was like ripped away from me. And, uh, and so I immediately decided that I should start a venture capital firm. And uh, so in 2007, I started a venture capital firm, uh, borrowed, <coughs> borrowed $4 million. Uh, and uh, those of you who were around, uh, 2008 was a terrible, terrible year to be scaling a venture capital company. Uh, it was just about the worst vintage year you could ask for. And uh, so a guy who basically had a long history of everything he touched turned to gold, uh, suddenly everything that I touched turned to poop. Um, and, uh, and so, um, that was bad. Uh, and, uh, my wife who called, uh, who's in Austin, uh, tonight, uh, she, uh, she, uh, put up with me, uh, uh, thankfully. And, um, I, uh, I, uh, stopped that, uh, in 2009 and started Epic, uh, as a bootstrap, uh, startup. And, uh, began to build Epic, initially focused on uh, a bunch of stuff, but um, what I was really doing, starting around 2008, 9, uh, after basically throwing in the towel uh, on being a venture capital stu- uh, uh, guy, you know, had made about a dozen venture investments in the span of a couple of years, um, I, uh, I, I, I ended up building two libraries in my search for truth uh, and uh, studied everything, you know. Uh, Eastern mysticism, witchcraft, the cult, Freemasonry, um, you know, everything. Uh, and uh, and basically what I concluded was that you know, Satan is real, but Jesus Christ is Lord. Um, and that was not like a normal path. Uh, I was self-righteous for a bunch of years. And then basically in the fall of 2013, I, uh, I fell on my knees in tears and uh, accepted Christ as Savior. And then February 5th, 2014, uh, I understood Romans 12.1. Uh, and uh, and Roman 12 1 says, Render your body a living sacrifice as a reasonable service. And uh, died to self, died to sin, and basically said, Lord, you know everything. Um, you see everything. 
um, you were outside of space and time, um, just like Jesus, take the wheel. And, uh, and he did. And so that's when I really became a Christian. And then a few years later, I, uh, I figured out uh, uh, the idea of sanctification, ended up reading a lot of the old Puritan texts. Uh, my favorite book in the world, by the way, uh, besides the Bible, is a book that you can find. I, I gave out so many copies. I made a website, mysteryofprovidence.com. Check it out. Um, John Flavel uh, wrote it in 1678. Um, and uh, that's where I realized that scarcity is an illusion. So Psalm 57, 2 says, the God who does all things for me. Uh, and uh, once you realize that basically the same you know, God that basically fed the Israelites six days a week uh, for 40 years in the desert, uh, is the same God we serve today, you know, you start figuring out, like, you know, God can basically make it happen. He, you, know, he you, know, you know what? You know what? Rob? Robots. Robots can feed us 24-7, too. We should spend more money developing robots that can, like, yeah. grow up food, because then scarcity... I'm, 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 yeah. I agree. Uh, I you know, but that's, 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 but that's precisely the point. Scarcity is an illusion. So, so like, you could fit the whole world into, into Texas. Uh, you know, there's this mindset that says we're out of space. Uh, I don't, I don't believe that's true. Uh, uh, frustrated customer. Uh, if, if, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, are we fixing the hack. Yes. Uh, I don't believe there was a. I don't believe there was a hack of our core system. I believe that there was somebody got access to an old backup. Uh, they already talked about it. Uh, the point of this call. The point of this call was actually to get Chad to come online. To, to, to talk me in a minute, but I haven't seen Chad. Anybody seen Chad? Uh, I haven't seen Chad. Stephen knows Chad, but Stephen Bolton. So. Yeah, you know, uh, the way they treated Chad is really kind of awful, you know? They, like, they took pictures of the inside of his house. They filed a false restraining order against him. And then they put his address up on the internet for everyone to know. Where he and his child. You muted both of yourselves. Uh, you have to, Jeff has to unmute himself. Uh, so I didn't need to mute you. Um, I, I did it because it was too much background noise. Um, all right, guys. Uh, so a lot of questions. Um, I gotta call my wife. You guys mind if I take a two five minute break? Oh, uh, go ahead, go, go, go. I will, I will, go, I will go, go. Do it on cam. Do it on cam. I will, I will go all night. I will go all night with you. While I say sweet nothing to my wife. Oh, oh, oh. Wait till you're on the phone with your wife. Oh, you know what? You, you oh, guys oh, can oh. talk about yourself. You guys talk. All right. I will say though, um, if if it's okay for me to say that. In reference to um, the word Nazi, I think the word itself, because I'm, forgive me for saying I'm pretty, I'm a bit persnickety on language and words, even though I can be very loose with my tongue, I admit. But that word, like a lot of other trigger words, are is used purely for warfare, regardless of what side you're on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's like uh, certain other words that hurt that hurt certain other people so much that you know what, why don't we just not be a-holes to this group of people and just respectfully not say this thing they don't want us to say. Just like how with Muslim people we give them enough respect because clearly they were really, really upset about the idea of it. If people in America try to basically satire and make fun of their, their um, you know, uh, Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying... You're making a massive generalization off of the, like, minute response of a very extreme you know small dude my nephew is Muslim I, I, I love Islam have you had the fucking food it's delicious are you saying I'm saying something bad about it I hope not I'm that's not. my nephew you'd be talking about so don't do that no. yeah. I would I would no, appreciate that I'm never because dude I yeah. you're taking dude, things out of context bro no, I'm saying that that a lot of this stuff is, you know, that what I was saying about that word is it seems like it's probably just not a great term to use currently or anymore. Uh, Maybe we could just come up uh, with a different acronym. When people try to call me a Nazi, I laugh. 
because I'm not a fascist. I hate fascism. I love pretty much everybody, as long as they're not fascists. I agree. As long as I don't talk about killing people because of their religion, or their sexuality, or what genitals they have, which are none of your fucking business anyway. As long as you don't do that. Yeah, I mean, there's no way to move forward as a civilization in any kind of way if we're getting into do anything you want tier of technology. That's going to require a large amount of responsibility, a lot of care. Yeah, how, how are we doing the responsibility of that so far? How's that work? Hmm? Honestly, it could be a lot worse. And the world could be everything going on right now. This tribulation, all this. Oh, boy, this could they be a lot worse. more into a video game. And they don't even want a video game. They want to put artificial intelligence into these drones so they can send them out to kill them. You know, you know why AI doesn't make sense? Are you sense? cool with that? You know why? Because Are you what cool is, with it? No. All right, because well, of the contradiction that. of them trying to say that you can put consciousness and the spirit of God into an AI, which doesn't make sense because it literally means artificial. Artificial means not real, not natural. By definition, artificial intelligence is not intelligent. By the literal definition, you'd have to create a different kind of intelligence. And even then, you shouldn't probably shouldn't play God and basically make something that's sentient and can't move or breathe. You know, that might not be a great experience, in my opinion. You know, what would a, be a great I, experience though. What would be a great experience would be having an earbud that had an AI in it that could translate any language into your native language for you. Well, so you, you know, there's like a device that would be I saw like two years cool. ago in China or something that, that it was this little handheld device, right? And it translated everything into everything. So we can do that technically. It just hasn't been made yet. We technically well, can do that. We have. So get on that. Stop, stop <laughs> worrying about nationalism. Stop worrying about God and Christianity and crap. And go out there and make my damn earbud for me. What'd you do? Are you Please. are you willing to are you willing to invest in my business of making that earbud? I don't know. It depends. You're gonna have I mean honestly hires. Are you gonna I mean, have there's another factor here? Deputies? Well no listen, there's another factor here besides are you gonna have female exhibits. I mean why not? I don't know. Why why not? I don't care. I don't care what people look like or where they're from. I just care about if they're coming if they come into my workplace to do their to do their job, they need to do their job. I don't want any like See just by you saying that movies you're all already there. prejudging the people who show up. You know what? I'm gonna shut up for a minute. This is Kurt's show. Kurt, you're on. Uh, Rave, you say it's, you, you give him a wide berth. All I can say. 
Yeah, wide berth. I agree with you. He, he seems like a, he, I think it's a stick, though. I'm not sure that he's, that the angry thing is like legit who he is. I think he's like that's like a stick. He is a he is as pure a chaos agent as I have ever known on, on this earth, other than myself. I could imagine that. Um, so, uh, Nier, uh, you you had a you had a question I think earlier. So, if you wanted to ask your question, I will we'll, we'll answer it. But uh, I'll tell you a true story uh, about. Uh, uh, I will, I'll, I'll totally pray before we leave. I'll totally pray. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, true story. So, uh, I, I got this call one time. Well, Leo wants to ask question. Let him ask question. Yeah. So, 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 uh, a call from an IT guy for like a bunch of like, uh, you know, uh, far right, you know, people. And, and he told me this thing and he, he, he the guy is legitimately racist. And he said to me, yeah, he's like, yeah, don't you know that all blacks are cursed? Because there's this idea that they have the curse of him or something. And I was like, and he's, he says he's a Christian. I'm like, dude, what part of, uh, you know, born again, new creature did you miss, right? You know, so you may have a curse, but, you know, the curse is lifted in Jesus' name. So why would you conclude that black people are cursed? That's, that's you know, black people are, are not cursed. Uh, you know, to me, is if they're, if they're Christians, right, they couldn't possibly be cursed. So, Anyway, there are lots of people who have like generational hate. Uh, their grandfather and their grandfather and whatever uh, they passed on these ideas, and uh, they've been raised with it. And uh, just have just have pity on them, you know, because uh, they're misguided, and you know they eventually, yeah, they're not cursed, uh, but the data is. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So crazy stuff. You know, uh, I, one thing that's kind of cool about this job, I get to I get to do uh, phone calls with a lot of very colorful people, uh, and uh, I'm fairly private, uh, so I don't typically kiss and tell. Um, uh, so I try to you know keep it more anonymous where, where I can, but I get to meet some really colorful people, uh, so that's fun. And I and I and I actually uh, I told me down to meet with Antifa people. Um, I met with uh, hardcore neo Nazis. Uh, Guy that basically, you know, was like, like, like legit vigilante assassin type of guy. Um, and uh, I was like, dude, you're not on the side of right. Um, and uh, I think I helped him walk off the battlefield uh, because uh, what he was doing with like vigilante justice was like not cool. Uh, documentary on Rob Monster, you know, uh, yeah, that'd be that'd be funny actually. Uh, if you uh, ever get to do a movie about uh, the crazy epic story. You know, I tell you what, here's something that I started. I recommend this highly. Uh, uh, so uh, after I read this book, Mystery of Providence, you know, like three times, and I created this URL, mysteryofprovidence.com, the ebook that you can read for free, uh, I uh, developed this practice of keeping a log. I have a Providence log, so I keep like it's a running log of all the different crazy things that happened in my life. Uh, this is definitely going in to the Providence log because uh, I didn't expect to... Uh, have 37 people show up to, to rap about life. Uh, but I was hoping to talk to Chad, uh, but because uh, he's got like a huge following on Twitter, I'm uh, trying to figure this dude out. Um, but uh, I appreciate uh, you guys showing up. Uh, what kind of libertarian are you? Uh, I just believe in small government uh, and I believe in uh, self governance, right? So I believe that if you have self governance, that where people are like accountable to each other and love their neighbors as themselves then they will be less likely to need dictators to put them in jail and quarantines and um, house sequestering and stuff like that. Um, and that's why uh, I believe in liberty, but I think that liberty, uh, as the founding fathers envisioned it, was kind of predicated on the assumption that people would be self-governing. And then over the last 50 years, uh, we've become progressively a lot less good at self-governing, and now we have a mess. So that's what I would tell you. That's my version of, uh, of being a uh, libertarian. Uh, it's not heavy. I'm not like a, uh, not like uh, the, the doctrine of somebody's like version of libertarian. I just believe in the idea that liberty and personal accountability uh, work really well together. And uh, uh, the philanthropist thing, which I put on my Twitter, is, is like, I just think that if you have means and you love your neighbor as yourself, then you can basically use the means that you have to lift people up 
Uh, I'm a bigger fan of giving people a hand up than a Did hand you say memes? Uh, yeah, if you have the you means, like the people through memes. No, no, no. Means like means like economic means like ways and means like you have money. Uh, if you have resource, if you have like I have I have rich and means, my friend. Yes, yes, I, I understand you. Yeah, the means they have. The means, as in like the money. I'm getting a cold, guys, but uh, you know it is what it is. But, uh, that's, what would, that's what I would tell you: is that uh, that if you have the ability to love your neighbor as yourself and to basically, you know, give somebody a hand up as opposed to just a hand out, you can co-create abundance. And the result is that you lift people out of poverty. They in turn lift their community out of poverty. And I have seen so many examples of that. And the whole mindset around scarcity is designed to get as many people as possible to compete with each other, to hoard resource, um, and uh, that basically keeps us... Horses, resources? What did you say? They hoard, they hoard resources. They hoard. I don't, I don't think I'm... Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about that guy up in Minnesota who got busted for uh, sex trafficking, oh, right? The GOP oh, okay. guy. Now, that, that's yeah. your dirty mind. Um, so is, is this audio better? Is, is this audio better? Or is it better with no headset? Same? I think without the headset. Oh, Sorry. I see I've been added. It uh, is, how's my audio here? Uh, it's can wonderful. You hear oh, is that Neil or is that David? Who is that? That's uh, me. That's Jerry. That's Neil. That's funny. Uh, uh, I, uh, Venmo. Uh, yeah, I don't. Um, um, yeah, my, I, my, that's funny. I'll just give you guys my cell phone, okay? Uh, 45, just don't call me right now, all right? 45 that's my cell phone. Uh, if you guys have, like, a problem, like, you think that people are, like, doing some really nasty stuff and you think it's urgent that I need to help you with, you can call me. Uh, but uh, just thanks. Uh, uh, my wife, my wife has good taste. Uh, uh, lifting pounds out of poverty. Yeah, got it. Uh, all right, um... What's my favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse. Uh, I think that uh, it's probably Romans eight twenty eight. Um, 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 I would say um, that dead yeah. for the world. If you don't know it, it's uh, all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called to it according to His purpose. I think that is probably because I think if you if you understand what that verse says, then you know that all lemons are for lemonade. So like when this whole thing went down. Um, I thought, crap, what a freaking nightmare. And and to basically walk into that saying, you know what, I know there's a lemonade here somewhere, and to basically have blind faith that there's lemonade. And so once we got, like, the system secured and, and things were, like, locked down, like, to a certain degree, you know, you might still find vulnerability, so if you find, let us know. Uh, then I was like, all right, you know, I still want to have a conversation, you know, with people, and, you know, that seemed like a good night to do it. So I just totally, like, followed a prompt. I'm sure my lawyers will freak out, uh, but uh, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, I'm just trying to basically solve stuff before your poor ends uh, for people who will have dark thoughts. Um, somebody asked a really good question. You guys are going fast. Uh, let me find it here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm not... Um, uh, does God love Satan? Um, so here's the deal. Here's what I've concluded for anybody who cares to investigate this issue. So a lot of people fear Satan. Uh, I do not fear Satan. Uh, and why do I not fear Satan? Uh, I fear God, but I don't fear Satan. Uh, and I would tell you, uh, I, I think the Lord showed me this, uh, that Satan is controlled opposition, I refer to him as the corrections officer of the universe. Um, and so his job is to basically tempt you, test you, uh, show you where you are on the mountain. Uh, the Lord chastens those loves. So you basically make a mistake, do something stupid, suffer the consequence, and you basically go. And if you're still stupid, you'll eventually get in jail, and then you can figure out your life there. Uh, well, yeah, but if you're you, there for eternity, so there is, I mean, like, you can't escape. It's not really. It's not like you're trying to train someone to be a better person. It's the final destination. But that's really besides the point. Because Rob Neil really has a question for you. 
when he's been trying to get you right, your attention. Yeah, Neil, go for it. Neil, go for it. Ask your question. Oh, I, you know, this is a fascinating discussion. I mean, not at all what I, uh, what I anticipated. So, uh, you know, kudos to you, Rob, for hosting this. And, oh, yeah. um, and just, uh, you know, in, in, in the past, we've had, you know, tiny chat and, um, you know, lewd behavior and, and, you know, people getting, people getting raided by the FBI while live streaming and things like that. So it's nice to actually come across, you know, a sort of intellectual adult discussion. And I'm curious, you know, there, there have been a, a, a dozen good points along the way here, but uh, what you just said about, uh, you know, not viewing, um, viewing Satan as the, uh, as a, a direct opponent to God, that's very interesting. Because, uh, you know, we have this sort of Manichaean, you know, dualism that is uh, kind of the norm for a lot of Christianity. And, and what you just said is more, uh, it, it's similar to the Muslim view in that, uh, you know, Shaitan is not, uh, not an opponent of Allah. He is uh, the trivializer. And um, if, you, if you compare notes between the, you know, the Christians in the West and the things that concern them, and, and, you know, Muslim uh, shaitan, you'll find that, uh, you know, uh, using different words and reacting at a very big emotional level about those words, but, but often describing the same problem yep. in society. Yep. Uh, I have a lot of uh, Muslim friends and, um, and uh, uh, you know, uh, we employ many Muslims. Um, uh, and uh, you know we we, we uh, celebrate you know their their holidays uh, and um, you know I mean um, uh, some of their you know uh, natural readings and I learned you know, a lot of them and there are a lot of I would say enlightened uh, Christians I think I think uh, uh, Muslims but I I would say and lovely people. again will you uh so i can help or if you're going to be if somebody else is going to be the moderator then and just kind of like uh manage the, the sound stuff so we don't have like uh interruptions but that was impressive uh i don't know how you did that but uh that was impressive i do not to know uh, as soon as i speak kurt has to get started like that i see how it is no 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 so anyway we we're talking about muslims uh and, and so where where i differ from uh muslims uh, I'm gonna make me a moderator so I can fix this background noise. Yeah, who, who the hell? Who the hell made the room? Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah. So that's funny. Uh, so um, anyway, yeah. Oh, uh, I've got no audio. Uh, really? I got audio. I can hear you. I have no video. Bye, bye. Uh, 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 that's funny. Uh, no? All right. Are we done? Looks like we got hacked. Are you, are, or something. Somebody's a really good hacker. I'm not sure. Uh, We've so. been hacked. Is it hacked? My hands, you could, you could see me the whole time. My hands were nowhere near a keyboard. Um, he types with his penis. Don't believe him. All right. Uh, so... Uh, uh, for, oh, I got, I got, I'm going to give a new URL. Let's try again. Uh, one second. Uh, one second here. All right. I got a new URL for you. 
Oh, there. Uh, there. Uh, go to that URL. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, that's funny. That's so funny. That's funny. So, so there's a dude. This is funny. There's a dude. Uh, there's a dude. Uh, the one that's called literally a Nazi. Uh, he is. Uh, he, I think he's trouble. Um, he's sending me lots of private. He's really a Nazi. I think he's sending. He's sending. Uh, he's sending uh, like major, major, like private messages that are like. You know, oh, oh, easy, Hendrix. Easy. Easy. Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, as we pray in the Spirit, Lord, we take authority at this time over the demons and evil spirits, agents of Satan, all spiritual wickedness that is at work. We bind all demons, all agents of Satan. We break all curses in Jesus' name. We declare all magic, all voodoo, all witchcraft to be null and void without effect. And we take authority, Lord, at this time. Amen. That we ever deep disengage this nonsense, Lord, that it stops immediately. That you would be glorified, Lord, that we have this opportunity to be hey, Rob, Rob. It stopped. Jesus, amen. It stopped. That's but good. the question is, was it the blue scan or was it the yeah. So uh, I have I have two different meetings going on. I have the take two. If you guys want to drop and go in there, we can do that. I, but I'm not sure who did that, if that was like a hack or what. But, uh, uh, your words can stop it. Yeah, this is... Uh, the power of prayer worked. Yeah, there you go. Uh, do you, I think I'm overpaid? Uh, so uh, uh, and uh, hey, Phil, you're my you're intercessors, man. Uh, just, just pray over this. Yes. Meet, pray over this meeting. Um, yes. Thank you, brother. Um, so uh, so uh, do I think I'm overpaid? No, I mean uh, I I pretty much did go for like a bunch of years, um, and uh, I think that. Uh, I, uh, I I think I work I work about a hundred hours a week uh, and uh, I, no, uh, I, I it, you, man. You no take, but you gotta, you gotta take some you time though no no, no but I, but I but I you know but I have my I have my hobbies yeah I uh, but uh, but I feel good uh, you know I, I don't drink uh, very much like I, I had I had wine today uh, uh, but that was good we had communion today. Uh, but I didn't, uh, I don't really drink much, uh, and I try to get to sleep by like 1130 and, you know, get up like around six or six thirty. uh, and then try to take a, take a nap on the weekend. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, what else? Are you not fasting? I fasted today. I did. I fasted. I fasted today. I did. I fasted from uh, Wednesday afternoon until, uh, Thursday uh, evening. How can you drink if you're fasting? Uh, I, 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 I did fast. Oh, shit. So my fast ended with a uh, with a communion. We had uh, bread and wine, uh, and uh, that was the end of the fast. So is JoJo still here? Is it, if camp is here, I just I want to say to Rob that. Uh, oh my God! Fuck. He's speaking in tongues. Let him go, man. I think we need to exit. Uh, I just, I, I just wanted to say thank you uh, out here in, in public for removing Joseph Camp from the internet. That guy has been, a, I don't know, he's not the number one pain in my ass, but he's definitely in the top five uh, when he's active. And, um, you know, uh, the, the natural right of free speech aside, um, he is. Uh, he contributes nothing to the uh, marketplace of ideas that our founding fathers envisioned. Uh, it's just a yeah. incredibly damaged human being who, uh, who gets online yeah. and acts out. Yeah. 
Yeah, not, not as high as self. Uh, so yeah, we, we got to work on that. Uh, and, and I and, and I and I commit to to uh, working with him to try to uh, be a better version of himself. Uh, and you know, in the meantime, we're not going to turn Yo Daddy Joey back on because I think it's divisive. Um, and uh, I think that uh, needs to basically, uh, you know, heal, right? I think that, uh, you know, like, I mean, some of this Antifa stuff that was been going on the last year is kind of crazy, right? I mean, it would just be good if we just uh, had a little bit less of, like, uh, burning down neighborhoods and stuff like that. I think, you know, we need to do a little better. That, I think we should uh, let Cat God say a prayer. Do you have a theory as to why different things like this are selectively um, enforced? God bless all your cats. Let JoJo buy out and bless your cat. Does anybody here follow Marduk? I'm actually a believer in Marduk. I don't. And anytime you see JoJo Tampa, you just ignore that nigga and go pet some cats. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and uh, now the cat goes. He'll yeah, overdose and, uh, eventually. Uh, and, and, uh, Literally a Nazi. Uh, uh, this this dude this dude is uh, you know full on demon spawn man. I mean, we must be making too much impact because uh, he is uh, full on demon spawn. Are you talking okay. about JoJo? I don't know whoever de- whoever literally a Nazi is. Uh, this there's a user named literally a Nazi. And he's uh, uh, he's uh, he's struggling with uh, his, his uh, assessment. Uh, hey, are you, anyway, are y'all gonna uh, ban me for smoking on camp? No, I need to myself up. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you do, you. Um, all right. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, exciting times are out here. What else we want to talk about? Send cat gun five dollars to hashtag cat gun cat gun. Oh my god, it's five dollars. He won't stop asking. For the love of God, somebody do it already. Mm. Uh, that's what Cash App is uh, gonna sign. Cash for those of us who don't have five dollars handy, are we still uh, are we still assisting with homework? Uh, no, I just want five dollars. No, man. <laughs> I'm, so I'm pretty sure he's got the homework covered. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's funny. Uh, so uh, yeah, anyway, uh, it says uh, PKR. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, yeah you guys, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't watch all A's last semester. So I don't watch Netflix. Somebody asked me if I watch Netflix. It's, 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 you don't watch Netflix? You don't watch any television? Pretty much not. Uh, like, uh, pretty much not. I almost don't watch any television. No time. What, what do you do uh, for fun? Uh, you know what? I grow a lot of blueberries, uh, and, uh, and we have like 80 blueberry bushes, and, uh, um, you know, I actually read a ton. I have like two libraries. Uh, um, if you could see uh, the stack of books that are around me, uh, I think you'd be uh, impressed. Uh, Do you read uh, Parlor? What, what? Have you ever read Parlor? What's Parlor? One of your like, gal? Oh, the website, Parlor. Uh, I'm not a member of Parlor, or I'm not, I'm not an actor. I have read it. on there. Yeah, I'm not, not a... Uh, I had a fun relationship with the CEO for a while. He was a good sport. Yeah? You want to explain that one? Want to unpack that for us? Uh, well, myself and another friend kind of made a, made made them look like a joke, and then he invited me to, to be a verified influencer on his platform as a... I, I don't even know. I don't know why he did that, but, I mean, it was fun. It was a fun time, and uh, he's very, very nice. Very nice gentleman. I like him. Oh, uh, John Matsey is here. John Matsey's in the house. Get the heck out of the John, my man, I was just talking about how wonderful you are. Yeah, uh, I had a sample yeah, for you. Yeah, hey, John, yeah. John, you got a video? John is this the house. John Matsey? John, are you here, bro? You got you to decloak so we can so we can verify this. If, if your camera works. If your camera doesn't work. But uh, that's uh, we never met. Um, uh, but uh, but I but uh, we did we did uh, we did become uh, uh, parlors registrar, so that was cool. Yep. Uh, gosh, uh, how's everybody feeling? You guys, uh, everybody, COVID free? I feel like power of God. Uh, I've got nothing. Cat God, say a prayer. I did. Louder. Did you get five bucks for it? No, I should. Hell yeah, you should. 
Yeah. Well, uh, that's funny. Uh, well, uh, I got to tell you that, uh, you know, uh, Satan is, is burning up because of this video. You know what? We, we, did, we did something kind of clever, right? So Satan wants to divide, right? He wants to basically create divisiveness, hate, polarity. And, uh, and, and so uh, that, that okay. polarity is breaking down, right? There's like awakening happening all over the world because people have a consensus around truth. And it drives Satan crazy. Uh, and, uh, and Satan ultimately loses. He's going to go to the pit, right? Ultimately, he goes to the pit. That's the deal. He knows it. Uh, and uh, we know that God wins in the end. And uh, Jesus Christ will rule and reign uh, from the full of for a thousand years. That's uh, that's what my week is. So it's coming. It's almost, we're almost there. Um, Do you think Jesus will save you from the hat? Uh, click on the first one. I think uh, I think that Jesus uh, basically uh, allows no. uh, evil to happen uh, um, uh, because he gives us good will. But I think that in the end, uh, he transmutes evil. So when there's like injustice and it's repaid sevenfold, so this hack that happened, it's going to actually repay Epic with a bounty sevenfold. That's God's economic kingdom. So when Satan overplays his hand, he does something really stupid, then then the Lord transmutes that into good, right? Well, that's what the Lord is moving his head. I know, yeah. He's, exactly. uh, he just so, says, like, uh, that hack was water. done by Satan and God will, like, repay it sevenfold. He does. That's how it goes. That's God's economics. Uh, yep. I don't know. Is it? Do you know who David yeah. Johnson is? Yeah. I don't. Who's David Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> He's everyone. He's everyone. All right, that, that's good. You, you seem you seem pretty enlightened. What do you believe? What's God? Is there a plan of salvation in, in Jainism. your mythology? Jainism. 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 Have you heard of so, it? So, uh, are you from India? Or where, where do you come from? I live in England. <laughs> in England. Where's uh? <laughs> how do I fucking see his? I'm trying to see the I'm trying to see the Christian light, which is uh, why I'm here. He's called Rob Monster, yeah. I guess. Yep. That's yep. his real fucking name. It's my real name. Yep. My, like my, my birth name is Robert Willem Monster. Those of you who think I'm related to Rob Zombie, I'm not. Uh, I was, my, in your channel, I think. my uh my uh my birth name is Robert Willem Monster, and then uh, when I went to college, I yeah, changed my right. first name from Rob. To Rob, <laughs> I became known as Rob Monster, so that's how I became Rob Monster. So. And that was before I knew that Rob Zombie. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> that's what I that's thought. That's funny. That's pretty funny. Um, all right. Uh, uh, is Rob going to host a party every night for us now, or what? Oh. You know what? If you guys want to do this again tomorrow, I'll do it again tomorrow. I, I will. Uh, yeah. Do I like Lex Luthor? All right. Do you guys want to hear a funny story? Uh, I'll tell you a funny story about Lex Luthor. So, so I don't have anything funny. All right, it's good. Uh, uh, so Lex Luthor. Uh, so, so NPR did this bit where I was referred to as the Lex Luthor of the internet. So let me tell you how this went down. Um, Bobby Allen, who uh, is a, like a lovely, charming guy, but he's kind of an operative. Uh, and NPR is fake news. Yes, NPR is fake news. Uh, they're propagandists. So he came to my home for a two and three quarter hour uh, interview. I made him a very good latte. He admitted it was a good latte. Uh, and uh, we sat down. Who the fuck is this clown? And then on the basis of this two and three quarter hour interview, he took this six sentences guy. of mine and turned it into a hit piece. And, and the part about Lex Luthor of the Internet, he asked me this question, uh, why do people think uh, why do you think the media is unkind to you? And I said to him, I said, well, with a name like Rob Monster, uh, you know, it's like the Lex Luthor of the internet, right? So, like, if you want to, like, cast a villain, uh, you know, to create, like, you know, uh, I don't know, negative story, so you could be, like, the, the Charlie, you know, of, of Vietnam, uh, but on the internet, you know, Rob Monster would be a really good name, right? Because it sounds like a villain, uh, but I'm not a villain, you know, so that's kind of how I think it went down. And so the script writers, you know, who orchestrate this stuff, they decided to make me the villain, but they underestimated 
is that it's going to cost them some stuff. Um, anonymous, uh, you guys got it wrong. Um, I don't know who runs the anonymous Twitter, but you guys got it wrong. Um, you know, we, 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 don't, we don't think David Johnson is the propaganda guy from Anonymous. Okay, good to know. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, and then Wikipedia. Those of you who think Wikipedia is anything other than propaganda, you know, you're this is fucking you're clown talking about it. You like apologize for getting everybody's fucking that elite or what? Is it just like uh, rambling like a fucking idiot? Uh, no, 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 not like a fucking idiot. No. Uh, oh, you I, can hear uh, me? I can't. You yep, fucking cause clown. Because you, you can mute yourself or you can... What's your name? No, I'm not going to bother. No, uh, thank you. All right, there you go. Uh, well, well, you, continue you can, on. Keep second. going. All right. All right. Well, if you're going to masturbate, just tur turn the audio off, okay? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, because uh, I don't really want to hear it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you do. No, nah, nah, I don't really get off on it. That yeah, you do. That's why you're um, talking about it. Yeah, it's not no. my program. Um, so, uh, uh, gosh, oh, yeah, so Wikipedia. I think Wikipedia is 98% uh, useful and 2% arsenic. The problem is you never know what's the arsenic. So, Wikipedia is like going down the, ra the rabbit hole of becoming Snopes. Um, and I hope that they, uh, you know, turn from their, th their path. Um, uh, because they have basically become the truth ministry, like a very Orwellian way. Uh, and uh, they're basically cataloging a bunch of media uh, links into a, a piece, and they become the kind of ministry of truth, the arbiter of uh, what's true. And then Google, which pays a lot of money to Wikipedia, they're probably the main sponsor at this point by far. Uh, Google then basically amplifies their version of truth. Um, yeah, Google does pay them. Uh, Google is a very big sponsor for Wikipedia. Um, uh, I'm happy to uh, talk with anybody who wants to discuss it. Look up Larry Sanger on Twitter if you don't know him. Uh, he, he, he tells you a lot of stuff about Google, he was, or about Wikipedia. He was, the founder. he was one of the founders. Um, hey, did you know that Sergey Brin used to hang out with Harvey Weinstein and Wendy Dang? Yeah, makes sense. Doesn't surprise me. Um, yeah, so you've got a, a, a serial sexual assaulter and a Chinese spy, right? Like, isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's possible. Uh, so uh, somebody asked me about uh, Hellbat, asked me about what I think of Antifa. Uh, you know, I think Antifa is uh, an op, um, and, uh, um, you know, it, I don't think it's organic. I think it's basically um, um, an op, and I think that uh, uh, QAnon is an op. Um, I think that uh, it is well, a reason. Well, 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 QAnon is indeed an op. No. So, so guys, so, uh, so guys, this idea of like brigading a bunch of people who think they have like access to secret information um, and they, you know, using different systems, and then they rub up against each other by creating this, like this dichotomy of two polar enemies who think the other side is trying to wipe each other out. And that's where you get um, the insanity that we've had to endure for the last 18 months. If you Can you get that to, from? Uh, I actually know an organization that has access to secret data. It's kind of fun. Have access to what? Access to your mom. He said access to, I think, secret data. Oh, yeah, secret data. Yeah, I, I don't know. I get to, but uh, as we've seen here, just in, in in the last you know day or week or month or, or through this year, nothing is really secret. It's you know secrets have a, a, a dwell time, and uh, and and things are getting dumped in public. That's it, Epstein. That, that I mean that that's some stuff. Uh, but I think that yeah, you're um, um, right. And guess e. what? Carroll's lawsuit is going forward. He's going to have to give his DNA in a cup. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm totally driving literally a Nazi crazy in these private chats. This is pretty funny. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I think that uh, there's a lot of uh, truth that's coming out, right? So what happens is, like, when you create this uh, crazy period where people feel like they're about to lose everything, um, you know, there's a saying, right? When people lose everything, have nothing left to lose, they lose it, right? That, 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 that's oh, are you talking about when the money launderers are going to eventually crash crypto or no? Is that something else? 
I'm, 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 I'm not really very into that as much as like, you know, people who do like deathbed confessions. I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out now and uh, free speech platforms like, you know, Gab and Parler and um, BitChute and, and whatnot, uh, CloudHub, um, uh, more to come. Uh, and uh, these sites basically are trafficking in, in, in truth. Um, and of course, you have to like, like Reddit, like like uh, Fortune. You have to kind of sort through. Me. Rob, some of these people are talking about killing my relatives. How do you want me to feel about that, man? That 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 hits deep, bro. I, 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 I somehow somehow I'm no longer the somebody. Somehow I'm no longer the the moderator of this uh, forum, so I can't mute them or boot them. So. Uh, whoever's the moderator at this point, uh, you're going to have to uh, take care of business um, and, and be a responsible uh, steward of this uh, completely organic uh, misfit. Do you want to just make another one yourself and then just post it? You know that? that yeah. oh, uh, the, uh, actually, I'm a mod. So uh, if you're high fidelity is the moderator, that's cute. That's really good. How, if you can be a good steward, HF, then... Uh, then just mute people who are or who are having too much background noise. It's working good right now. Um, so uh, what? You know, going 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 back to that, Rob, if we could, the um, the notion that there there's the you know truth on Gab and Parler. Uh, yeah. I mean, there there you know there's absolutely been uh, some criminal activity on there, no question about it. And yeah. um, I, you know, I we have this society wide. The, the big picture, society-wise, we have this, um, you know, what's been labeled as a, a, you know, free speech absolutism, and I think that we have, um, you know, there there are problems there. There are issues there as far as jurisdiction, as far as what is acceptable behavior. I mean, the internet has basically, you know, of, of all the things that is that have been devalued by the internet over the years, uh, the, the value of a good punch in the mouth has really been taken away because there's a lot of things, you know, even you look at the people in this chat, there's things that they would just never, never say in person because it would quickly escalate to, to an etiquette lesson. And yeah. this is, this is something that I've been puzzling over since, you know, I don't know, for the last 10 years or so. And, um, you know, having had uh, so much trouble with, with, you know, Jojo Camp in particular and, and various people like him over the last decade. Um, you know, what I, I, I'm at a loss for what we do as a society to correct problems like that without interdicting the natural right of free speech and without harming our economy in the process. I mean, it's really a serious puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that there's a lot of a lot of broken processes, but guess what? We get to build it, right? So, like, the word of the street is World Economic Forum wants to basically have, uh, you know, uh, the Great Reset. And uh, as that reset happens, you know, we get to decide what do we build better to. Um, and, you know, on the one side of the duality, you have, like, a desire to, you know, you know emerge as, like, a technocratic control grid, Orwellian stuff, universal basic income. Uh, you know, nobody owns whoa, anything. Whoa, whoa. How is universal basic income Orwellian? Well, no, it's Orwellian if it like comes with terms and conditions, like you know, hand in everything that you own. Uh, you own nothing. Nobody's um, going to that. Where does that go? Oh, you you wait, right? You wait. Oh, uh, buddy, why why are you so scared, Rob? Universal uh, basic what? income has been proven to not be wasted on drugs or alcohol or frivolous things. People pay off their debts, and they help, it helps actually move them forward in society. Look, look these I, are I, actual I, experiments I, that have been done. Rob. Are, are you, I, I, I don't you disagree know, with the taxation. Um, I don't disagree with his point. I will say though that one of the reasons why these decisions can often be hard to to make or have the specifics over, maybe I'll say, maybe not doing it, but the specifics of it has to do not with what happens a year from now, not ten years from now has to do with what's going to happen to our civilization a hundred thousand years from now. And we're all obsessively OCD about binding, right, and limitations. This is because the true nature of reality means that once you hit do anything tiers of technology, you are screwed unless you have, you know, you know, an existence of God in your civilization. 
You know, so I'm just saying yeah, that. Oh, okay, okay. Of, of the, are you specifying the a Judeo Christian God? Are you saying that only a Judeo Christian God? Or are you willing to welcome all gods? Because, you know, I have friends who are Hindu, and there's a lot of Hindu gods. And so you got to have a big table for a lot of Hindu gods. You know what I'm saying? There are many yeah, who use one Hindu. for two and two for one, and as a result, they have no knowledge of either one. Many have confusion. Okay, so God you're, you're hung up on your Judeo-Christian mindset is what you're telling me. You're, you're stuck in your little, this is my religion box, and I'm going to stick with it, and I'm going to ignore all this massive, wonderful history. Like, do you know the story of You know that I also study the Hindu Vedas, right? You're making okay, any assumptions about me. Really in that, uh, you know, the world is, oh, uh, on the one hand, we have the, the Abrahamic religions, the, the monotheism, and um, Sons of Shem, and then on the other hand, you have the, the Vedantic traditions, so Buddhism and, and Jainism and Hinduism and, and the Sikhs, a fusion of uh, Islam and, and that, that earlier Vedantic thinking. Uh, and, and then we don't give enough credit to, because they're not particularly technological, usually, uh, the animists who are still close to nature. And... Um, the, the notion that there's some sort of, uh, you know, culture war, that it's that it's Christianity against Islam, and we certainly have spent a lot of money doing that, but... Um, Dude, there have been crusades for a thousand years, it, Neil. And yeah, so let's, like, knock that shit off because it's wasted. Having exhausted years, years with, crusades. Uh, uh, fundamentally useless so activity in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um we're now going to see that China, having avoided those problems, uh, rises. And, I don't um, know, man. I, I think oh, the biggest problem is I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm knocking, knocking at the door, man. I, 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 I think that, uh, there, there's a very strong possibility that you might see it all come unwind really quickly. We'll see. Um, you know, why, why, why do you meet the United States are so freaking happy that they got out of China? Um, that means that China doesn't have all things that work well. I think they're a well oh, they, they, they allowed God. China for a while, but then the God people tried to take over everything, so China stamped down on the God people. Yeah. Is, uh, I'm so more MLN, interested MLN, in MLN, the MLN, uh, MLN says, have you ever had a discussion with a Wumao? I have no idea what a Wumao is. W-U-M-A-O. Anybody know? Maybe MLM will say something. I don't know what it, I don't, I'll look it up. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the MLN? MLN. No, yeah. Uh, he, he says, uh, yes, it's the MLN. Yeah. If that's the MLN, stop being a weenie and turn your microphone on, man. You're good at this kind of stuff. Get in here and contribute. <laughs> Play, bro. Umar are Chinese citizens paid to spread propaganda. I didn't know that. That's very interesting. I'm not surprised. Well, uh, are you familiar with that fellow named Guo Wenguei? Guo Wenguei? Yes. Like, yes. Yeah, exactly. yes. Yeah, that, that's one of them. Got it. Good to know. Um, that's good to know. Um, well, fascinating. Gosh, guys, you guys are... Uh, would, you guys hold are, on, hold on. Someone, someone just credited him as being a Chinese propagandist. He's anti CCP. No, he's yeah, he's, he's, CCP. he's super uh, anti CCP. He's he's an <laughs> he's a CCP infiltrator who's here to, while fighting the CCP, also surreptitiously get a hold of all the people who are anti CCP. Got and it. Control Got it. All right, that's good to know. It's not exactly the first time that play's been played. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, you want to know another time I got played? Here's one for you, Rob. Hey, yep. uh, have you ever heard of the company called Palantir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're not a client, as far as I know, but, uh, but I know them. Yeah, did you know that one of the founders, like, beat and raped and tortured and, like, completely mind-fucked a young girl? I didn't know that. What? Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump's had abortions. So, uh, there's somebody here, Hellbat, He's got an attitude issue. He says, uh, after a long off tonight, demonic spirits will enter your home. Heavenly Father, Abba Father, 
I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that that will not happen. I bind all demons and all evil spirits, all agents of Satan in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take authority over it and send them to the abyss if they were to come so far and uh, give you all the glory. Yeah, my God, my God, my God is uh, is mighty. Uh, is he that is in you than he is in the you know, and, uh, I mean, I, you know, you know, I, I Solomon, Solomon's temp system of his temple is really templated on a lot of things. Uh, you guys, you guys take authority over this, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll wrap. Um, and whoever's the moderator, just uh, yeah, do the music if you will. Um, so, uh, God, I you see that, um, you see that God is giving me that the good me. He's just giving me what you smoking, smoking on, cat God. What you smoking on, cat God. Got some A1 Yola, some Cherry That's Lime Ricky. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, you know, all them demon niggas, he's just giving them Reggie. NYC flow. Um, gosh, guys. Uh, yeah. So, uh, sun is setting in, uh, what time is it? Uh, is it uh, sunset in Honolulu? Take a look. I'm sunset in Honolulu. Uh, so, the sun is set. Well, guys, uh, young tour, young poor has has ended, I think, and uh, so hopefully uh, you uh, made uh, wise choices uh, and set for a auspicious rest of the year. And uh, for those of you who are still trying to figure it out, uh, may God bless you, direct your steps, may the Holy Spirit minister to you and, and lead you to a path of righteousness. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, I believe everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a calling, uh, and uh, when you figure that out, when you when you when you when you uh, uh, surrender to the Lord's will, uh, you will you will discover your spiritual inheritance and uh, be be led to the thing that you were made to perform, the thing that you were intended to accomplish, and uh, you will have uh, treasure for eternity. And I really encourage you to uh, consider the possibility that life in all its complexity is not the product of random. There is, there is a designer. There is an architect. And uh, the meaning of life is to figure out the identity of who the creator is and what he wants. That will be my very strong encouragement. Um, Wait, what did I join to? How do, you, uh, how, do we, uh, how do we come back next time? Like, is there a Discord or something? Does Rob Austin have a Discord? Is that what I heard? I don't have a Discord. Uh, I don't no, have a Discord. I, 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 do, I, do have a, I do have a Telegram. Uh, I just and, meant this, uh, this, this video chat. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's your Telegram. Yeah, I think this is a much better uh, platform. Rob, I mean, this is really Rob, handy. Nothing Rob invasive. Rob Rob get in and talk. Back. I mean, this is good. Can you repeat yeah, it's that? Jitsi. You ain't never heard of Jitsi, Neil? Uh, uh, by the way, we, we self hosted. Jitsi stream uh, we, we self this. I I, uh, I I encourage you to uh, check it out. You can run Jitsi very easily on any um, uh, Linux OS. But I would say also uh, there's an app 
so this doesn't worry. This is a, a RTC relay, uh, so it doesn't work well on uh, mobile phones. But you can install the Jitsi app on iOS or Android, and it will work that way. Um, yeah, so you can use it, use and it's yeah, those of you who don't need to basically be surveilled on on uh, you know uh, Zoom and whatnot, uh, this is a really good option. Uh, that's why we self-host uh, this chat service, and we use this for uh, security uh, assessment. Uh, but, but but we also uh, anybody who wants to like have a self-hosted instance of uh, Jitsi on your own domain name, uh, uh, Epic will set it up for you, and we don't charge much. Uh, we haven't commercialized it as a product, but if you want help setting up your own, um, you, can see, you can do that. Looks like Catron is now the moderator. Um, oh, God. Oh, no. I don't know how to do it. The benevolent God. Whoever wrote this scene, Hollywood's not going to buy it. Um, uh, I, I, I got a question of if I'm taking ivermectin. Uh, I have not, I, I'm not taking any ivermectin. Uh, I know where to get it. Is mine. Don't, don't use that, Rob. That's for animals. I, I take it daily. Uh, I, I, I have, I have a, I have some, but I, but I haven't taken it. No, can no, I, no, no. Can I have no. it? Honestly, yeah, the best advice I can give anyone for this stuff, the sickness, is focus on your breathing. If you get sick, just focus on your breathing. Because for those in the audience that were for those in the audience that were asking if Libby was present, she said hi. Uh, can, I, can I buy your Yeah, uh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, uh, did I vaccinate? No, I didn't vaccinate. Uh, uh, and uh, I haven't taken any action. Uh, I do take uh, zinc uh, and uh, NAC uh, and I get, try to get out in the sun every day for at least a few minutes. Uh, uh, and, uh, I and uh, it also like uh, I eat a lot of uh, antioxidants, and, uh, you like and, uh, and I do believe I do believe there's a spirit of infirmity, uh, and I believe that we can. Oh, it's funny because I was in a prayer meeting yesterday, and uh, after the prayer meeting, this this uh, soreness that I had in my left shoulder for like a month and a half, uh, completely good. I, I I'm completely back to normal, so it's great. Prayer uh, book, guys. Rob, do you like uh, do you like Bofa? I don't know what Bofa is. And <laughs> now, uh, <no. laughs> nice. <laughs> Rob, what do you funny. think Satan would post on the internet? Uh, what do I think Satan would post on the internet? I think. Uh, yeah, where would he hang out? Uh, I, 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 timeline. I think he's. I think he gets around. Uh, I think he's. I think he's one individual, and I think he gets around. He might even be hanging out with us tonight. I don't know. Um, we'll <laughs> he's the hacker on the sports channel. Yeah. Uh, more or less. All right. Uh, so uh, gosh, guys. Um, Satan's with us tonight. He might be. Um, he loses in the end, though. He was, uh, I think he was in the chat earlier. He was giving me some private chats, trying to tell me stuff. Oh, um, hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. People who aren't Christians go to church. church to get church believes cats go to heaven, right? Say, say it again. You, you don't, you're not one of those fake churches where they send cats to go to heaven, right? Uh, I don't know where the pets go. Uh, I think God was pets. Uh, I, I, don't, uh, uh, I don't know where the pets go. Um, yeah, uh, I think that uh, I think God loves us enough that He'll probably allow us to have pets in, in eternity. Uh, but uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Where, I, don't, I don't know where the pets go uh, are eternal. I don't believe they are. Um, because uh, because uh, God God did make it so that uh, meat was uh, available to be eaten, and uh, so another vegetarian or vegan. Uh, you know how animals like going outside. If you have a pet cat inside, you know how their instincts—it's who they are. They like being outside. That's what happens to them. You can't. They might go to heaven if they if they are instinct or if they choose to for a time. But you're not going to be able to hold them down there. Unless they love you, in which case they'll stay with you for a time. It's the same thing as it is down here. They'll stay with you for a time. I saw, and I saw the movie. And that then when they want to go, they go. 
That's yeah, if you let the cat into heaven, it will just paw at the door all day. Oh, yeah. But then when you open the door, then it will, like, paw at the gates to get back in, right? It's just like a little kid. When he's outside, he wants to come inside. When he's inside, he wants to go outside. When it's hot out, he wishes it's winter. When it's, it's cold out, he wishes it was summer. It's the same thing, man. It's just nature. We have we have a new guest and the yeah, rise like a bad, badass microphone and uh, in the red in the red uh, sweatshirt. What's going yeah, what's on? Up? You got something to say? Hey, that's my brother. Oh my from another mother, John Jackson. I'm Sakura Samurai. What is up? It is John. It is John Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is John Jackson. There you go. He's back. Uh, so the, uh, earlier, John Natsy was not an imposter. Uh, this is the real John Natsy. That's not John Natsy. What? I'm no. not a lot of people are John Natsy. I'm not John Natsy. It's John Jay Hacking. Mr. Hacking. Don't worry, he's not a doctor. He's an and he's an ethical hacker. You don't have to worry about him. All right, guys. Being an ethical Good. hacker just means you sit back and are truly pained with people asking you to hack shit all day. You would know that, Kurt. Yo. Um. Hellbent asked, yeah. Hell asked me if I've seen God's face. I have, I have not seen God's face. Nobody has seen God's face. There's no such thing as an ethical criminal. Uh, uh, why am I not verified? What? Oxymoronic uh, sentences. Uh, Mortals can't uh, see uh, God's I, face I, because it I, would be a metaphysical contradiction because, as Jesus Christ said, I cannot witness myself. You can't witness yourself metaphysically because the concept of doing it means you're not witnessing yourself. Your eyeball that can't look at it. You have I mean, to use a mirror, but the mirror is only, you know, it sees oh, well, well, you, well. and then you see it, and it's showing you what it sees, which is different. So yeah. the concept of seeing God's face is like seeing the singularity that that's like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I got you. Uh, Personally, I run a cult, so you know. Yeah, who's that? Same cult brothers. Yeah, we're, we're both in cults. It's not running the cult itself. That's necessarily. Yeah, uh, that's funny. Um, so uh, somebody, somebody asked a question. The chat's going by really fast here. Let's go down, guys. Uh, oh, why am I not cool? You gotta read, you gotta read poster, man. You gotta do more chats. Uh, uh, so this guy here, yeah, John Jackson. He has a cult. His hacker cult is Sakura Samurai. I have a cult. My hacker cult is called Anonymous. Got it. Uh, that, that's Two different ends cult. of the spectrum there. Some, yep. of, some of the audio disruption here, just for, for Rob's benefit, uh, you mentioned uh, expelling imps earlier, and uh, there's a specific flavor of imp in here known as a fuck muppet, and there's at least two of them that I've seen in chat. So, uh, um, you know, blah, 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 uh, be famous. Just try to do the right thing. You know, the, the key to doing the right thing, just take the right next step. It doesn't matter where you are. Just uh, wherever you are, just take the right next step. And, oh, no. uh, and yeah. then just take the right next step after that. And uh, you won't be able to find you to a better place. I want to the 21st century. Yeah. Welcome to the 21st century. I promise you I don't go to Pornhub. Uh, uh, so oh, I do a lot. <laughs> A shit let's, take, let's take a look at yeah. your browser history, Rob. Let's, take, let's test this. Yeah, I promise you. I don't have a porn addiction. Uh, I got nothing to hide. Um, does God watch people masturbate? I think he does. Uh, but, uh, That's hot. Not, God, yeah. God uh, is a pervert. No, I don't think it's that. I think he just cringes. Uh, I, think that, I think it's more that. He doesn't miss much. That's a um, lot of people to watch jerk off. Though. God, you know what? I tell you what. You want? You want? You want God a is a sadomasochist. You want to? You want to? Yep. Yeah. Anybody with a masturbation habit, you want a cure for it? Just think about the fact that God sees everything. 
And I think about my grandmother, and I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck, I hope my grandmother's not watching. You know, there is an actual similarity know. between God and Chan people, dude, and it's that it both is. of them look for inside boards and just get fucking bored with, like, 99.9% .9 of the shit they see. Um, I forgot it's on a meter or Philip, but one of them wrote something along the lines of we that um, we shun evil. The other thing is that somewhere in the Old Testament, it's written... Um, and I have hidden my face away from you because of your sins. And I, even I, have forgotten about your sins for my own sake. Oh, no, but... Or, but, or was uh, it for your but, own sake? No, I, no, I, but, I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. No, no, no. no. Uh, I, I, think, I think that uh, you're right. Uh, for those who are resting in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ, your uh, your sins are, are washed. Uh, and uh, uh, I believe those things are expunged from the record. People talk about the Akash record. Uh, that, that may or may not exist. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Uh, but I do believe that there's this idea that the books are open. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's probably in there that you have to then answer for, you know, at the white throne judgment. And uh, I don't think that that's really one of these things that you want to look forward to. Uh, so, uh, probably why what if there's like whole alien civilization that have TV that tune into us and they look at people doing that in their rooms as like, and here we have this specimen. And they look at it right. like not even in a sad or cringe way, but just like you would like you would watching lions do that. It's right. just it, it, they, they comically, overtly scientific. It makes sense. Uh, I, I do think I do think that uh, the marriage bed is undefiled, uh, and, uh, and I and I don't believe the angels of demons uh, get a peek at what goes on in the in the marriage bedroom uh, behind closed doors. I, 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 that that I think is biblical. But uh, treat your neighbors yourself. Yeah, because you, you know what? It'd be kind of creepy if you basically had to like hang out with people in the attorney. They're like, "Yeah, I saw you with your wife." That 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 seems really classless. So I just yeah, I, mean, no, I, I did. It, it's supposed to be like what you hold up true down there. I hold true up here. And I mean, what do we do when when we yeah. know we're not going to try to make them feel bad about it? Like, geez, how do you, anyone who has a kid, if your kid does something wrong, how the hell do you tell them? Yeah, I, I agree. What about Mary? What about, about Mary and that angel? Uh, who's the one who brought you down to Mary? How about that? I mean, you can't just tell the kid what he did wrong because he. You know, our feelings hit her pretty easily. Also, if you blame the kid, the kid's like, well, you're my father. Yeah. Wow. And then well, that, 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 yeah. Yeah. What if you just told up. them what they were doing wrong don't without blaming them? Don't give up on you know, that's kids. possible, too. Yeah, and uh, children have many fathers, and uh, probably a lot of mothers, too. Uh, I know. They, I, uh, I've fathered a ton of children in the Philippines. It, there you go. Uh, and that's really, really honorable. Uh, by the way, we acquired, uh, two weeks ago, we acquired the Dominion Open Stuff Talk. Uh, and we're, we're going to build a site uh, for uh, funding uh, orphans. It's going to be FinTech for orphans. Uh, so uh, fixing the problem of, of uh, how do you get funding to all these orphans and these orphanages. The idea that you can have fellowships. Uh, you know, we can connect with uh, these uh, people that are part of your... Uh, virtual family so you can uh, be a source of uh, encouragement uh, to, to these kids who have lost their parents. So I'm excited about that project. Anybody who is really passionate about that topic, we're probably going to be hiring some people uh, for that project. Rob, do you think the rapture will happen? Yeah, I think it does. I don't know when. Um, flat Earth, Ground Earth, uh, tough call. Um, will uh, the rapture happen in the next 30 years? Yeah, I I would just so. need to make sure you hire a cyber Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just have to say, because everyone always has an answer for this. It is plainly written, no one knows but the Father. So every single solitary person in the history of the earth, I don't care now, if you are, how smart you think you are, everyone who's ever you know, predicted Christian, thank you. There are other. Predict. There are other. The problem with because people like to predict you is also to, to condemn us, so, to condemn they go through sins through tribulation. Bro, and if we treat our neighbors as dogs, we don't want to condemn them. No one wants that that stuff to happen. No one wants the tribulation. No one should you should want it. It's also written in yeah. Revelation. I think I forgot if it was Revelation or not, but it's written in the New Testament. No one, no one should want that day. I, yeah, think, no, I think that lie really about it contributes to the hell so, that's happening. So why are accelerationists trying to push us towards that day? There's no such thing as the acceleration. Instead, it slows us down. It's a trap. No, it's a constant no, trap. Where are you accelerating? 
what happens in the thousand years. You know, uh, <laughs> the thing is that that new, uh, yeah, I mean, God is on the throne, right? And so, like, if you subscribe to the notion that God controls the duality of good and evil, right? You know, even the guys who are basically free will actors, you know, to a certain extent, their steps are directed. You know, like Pharaoh, um, you know, in the story of the of the ten plagues, you know, it says that, that God in his heart. So he had to basically endure ten plagues, including losing his son, uh, as all the uh, boys of of, uh, of 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 Pharaoh's kingdom, you know, perished. Um, but uh, he, God had to harden his heart uh, because you know what rational person basically, of course, like plague after plague of their free will. Uh, at some point, you'd be like, okay, enough. I've seen enough supernatural stuff. I'm going to back down. But that's not what happened. That's pretty wild. It actually has to do with the counting. It has to do with the counting. The, the reason duality came about uh, was actually slightly Frizzerosrianism. Uh, <laughs> counting with, with debits and credits, right? Yeah. And then of that debit and credit system that duality, if something's either a positive or a negative, was transferred into religion. Prior to that, humanity was all polytheistic. But after accounting came around, and that affected religion, that's where duality came from uh, in, in a religious aspect. If, if you do a, a comparative study of religions throughout history, right, like you have to go back to like, you know, the Hittites and the Sumerians and blah, 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 like farther back than Jesus and, and all that. Um, yeah, yeah. Actually, the whole duality of good and evil. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. We yeah. love you. Yeah. Good night. Don't let the rotten feds bite. If you do, whack him with a shovel. That's funny. Uh, gosh. Uh, so. Uh, uh, it's like, uh, Luke Smith gets I now. use Arch, by the way, just so everyone on this call knows. I use Arch Linux. I, I heard, yeah. that, is there a black Arch? Fantastic. Oh, I use them all. Uh, Thanks for the tip, there. John. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. You're black Arch exists, but it seems really dry hardy, to be honest. Black <laughs> Arch, uh, just get Black Arch Light. It's got a lot less uh, bloatware type shit. Yes! Yeah. Two use Debian. Debian. I need to tell everyone. Debian. That's yeah, yeah. I was wondering that. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I was just like, I'm moving, bro. What? That's fun. It's like saying you're a fan of anarcho syndicalism because you like Noam Chomsky or something. <laughs> I just like narcotics, bro. Yep. Well, guys, let's uh, take a drug. Uh, Trump supporter. Uh, Hellbat wants to know if I'm a Trump supporter. Um, well, uh, tough. Um, you know, I, Is it really? Yeah, I mean, it's tough because uh, he, he had some good economic ideas, uh, uh, you know, but, you know, still a work in progress like we all are. Uh, Trump fucking sucks. I don't, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think that, uh, yeah, we all have blind spots. Uh, tough call. Tough you call. know what's good for the economy? Slavery. I don't think Biden's killing. Okay, Jay, calm down there. I think I think Biden is uh, kind of letting, letting a lot of people down. Uh, but, Government, uh, you know, it's really good for the economy. Honest yeah, business. You know, you know, yeah, I think there's there's too much there's too much uh, control grid stuff coming. But uh, you know, God's on the throne; it all works out. But uh, it's not fun uh, when you go. Get off this really good. Corporations for the suck. <laughs> this is another thing. Listen to me. We need to an NFT so we can make money. NFT, yeah. Do you know another thing that's good for the economy? Porn. Porn. Porn's always good. Here's the problem with porn, though. Of course, you're local only fans. And you have a lot of, well, obviously, child pornography. Oh, yeah, like that guy from the GOP. What was his name? Ruben Baragui, who actually works in the Trump White House and got caught. Like in chats talking about wanting to rape babies. Yeah, uh, I think there's a lot of uh, evil and depravity out there, and, and a lot of it's being exposed. Um, you know, the independent media uh, is holding a bunch of people accountable, and that's one of the side effects uh, that is, in some ways, you know,
causing some people to kind of adjust course, right? You just you, know, you just hope that they can adjust course before their stuff gets exposed. And I think God's merciful, you know, up to a point. But then God chases those who love, right? So if you have like a long history of making stupid choices, you know, eventually that will come up and bite you in the butt. Um, well, God could be merciful. I hope our judicial system is not. Um, fortunately, I think there's Uh, have I done anything evil? I'm sure that I have. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sure that I have. Uh, Racism is uh, inherently uh, ingrained uh, in our yeah, system. I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure that I have. There was there was a time there was a time when uh, uh, when uh, Epic uh, before Epic became you know more wildly successful. Uh, there was a time actually during the time of COVID. When uh, a lot of businesses were like shutting down and, and you know you couldn't actually borrow any money uh, very easily uh, and uh, and so we had refinanced the house uh, and uh, I used the proceeds of the refinance of the house to uh, to keep everybody fully employed at Epic um, and uh, and that at the time was slightly uh, awkward but it all worked out and uh, you know we're, we're better off for it. So, you know, you know, Rob. If you had universal basic income, you wouldn't have had to have done that. Exactly. Uh, uh, everything else would be uh, so expensive uh, that the basic wrong. income would be almost because useless. You can't, you can't build unless you regulate other things. You can't build yeah, inflation would go up. But I, I tell you what, I tell inflation you what, would go up. Uh, Whoever arrived, it yourself. Uh, so uh, uh, I tell you what's uh, really interesting that's coming down. Uh, which is, uh, I, I do think that this whole non-fungible token stuff is super interesting. 